YouTube, what's up, man? YouTube guys, hit that like button. Over a thousand of you guys have watched pretty much every episode in the past, like 40. <clears throat> this is the Nita Podcast. This is episode 56. Hit that like button, man. If you are in the chat, just put some handy. Put something in the chat. Put your favorite emote in the chat. If you guys are watching these on YouTube or if you're listening to these on SoundCloud, man, like I said, SoundCloud, let me know you there. Let me know you listening. On top of that, you can watch these live Tuesday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash dub dot. First thing I see in the chat, as I look down at the chat, <clears throat> the first thing I say see is Clef telling the people that he's 5'11". Bro, if he's 5'11", I'm 6'11". That's, and now I'll start right there, chat. If he's 5'11", I am 6'11". I am Blake Griffin. <clears throat> I'll tell you that right now, okay? Uh, it's been it, it's been a good week. Not a week like last week. Um, <clears throat> I asked the chat before, what would you guys want to talk about? Um, it was a lot of Madden. A lot of Madden. And I, I'll, you know... Uh, I'll be the first to say I don't think we can ever get enough man. And I talked about this uh, off stream, off with, about <clears throat> kind of the, the the club series. I mean, it's a lot of Madden. Uh, it's spread all over a lot of time, you know. And I ask you guys this: Why well, ask you guys this? Is like, do you think there's ever too much Madden? Like, would it be better if there was less? You know, if we only saw MCS, you know, once a month, maybe. Or is it good that we have a lot of man to watch? Personally, for me, to do a podcast, I love it. You know, <clears throat> it's cool to watch, and I can never get enough of men. Now, the man we have been watching, I mean, I it hasn't been the most entertaining thing in the world. Um, as somebody for me that, I mean, we just had, we're going to talk about DreamHack. I, I didn't watch too much of it. <clears throat> You know, it's like very spread out, you know, and uh, it's a uh, it's definitely a long, a long tournament, you know. Um, yeah, the, definitely <clears throat> was sneezing almost was earling about like a half hour ago. So I'm, my eyes a little red and I hit the pen a little bit. You know, the eyes red. I'm a little. Yes. So for me, <clears throat> I've had this talk. Is it too much? Would it be more successful? Because let's, what do you guys see as far as the streams are concerned? Um, for me is, um, do you guys, they're not doing that good. You know, what are we saying? 5,000, 6,000 people watch them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you think it'd be better if we had, like I said, less streams and, you know, or watch it every once in a while, like a pay-per-view or something like that. But <clears throat> for me, uh, the one thing that is aggravating about this tournament, which is the biggest tournament of the year, is the inconsistency in the clubs of why they stream and why they don't. Um, for me, tomorrow, I believe, um, Shakobi plays Journey. Um, like, Shakobi plays Journey, and tomorrow, we would all watch that, right? You know, that would be like... That's like that's like almost main event, bro. That's like really good, you know. Um, <clears throat> I think so. We're gonna miss that, and why are we gonna miss that? For me, it's because the Jaguars. I feel like they don't care anymore. You know, they didn't want to invest nothing to it, and because of that, EA is not gonna put all their games on stream. You know, the only thing that sucks is that it's inconsistent from what the other Final Fours were. You know, I think if they were all consistent, it'd be a lot better. You know, if it was just the final game for every club was on stream, that'd be cool. Well, just to mix it up, different clubs, get different things. Some people don't play on stream as much. Some people play more on stream. You know, so on and so forth. I wish it was a little bit <clears throat> the same. That's all. You know. Yeah, that's what it is. Exactly, Pony. And as he says in chat, it's pretty much all because teams don't really want to support. You see, some teams have their own event that they have to pay for. You know, the Cowboys paid for that venue. The Eagles paid for to get the stuff in their locker room and all that. The teams paid for that. EA didn't pay for those things, you know. So, essentially, down the line, EA's goal is to have all these teams, you know, pay for these events, you know, and foot the bill for these events. And they just, <clears throat> excuse me, 
they want EA to foot the bill for these events, and and because the Jaguars aren't in that, aren't really that interested, you get one game on stream. So for me, I wish it was, <clears throat> I wish it was a little bit more even. I wish it was a little bit, I, not a little bit. I wish it was the same, one way or the other. Either make it, everybody get the final game or everybody get final four, you know. But I say all that to say I'm upset. I'm not going to get to watch. Shakobi versus Journey. I mean, we're all going to be glued to some Twitter account, just refreshing it. And third and 13, he runs stretch. He breaks the tackle. But there's Palomalu to wrap him up. Bang, fourth and four. What is Shakobi going to do? You know, we're going to have to watch that for sentences and things like that. <clears throat> Rico didn't, never got fired. Rico is a freelance broadcaster, freelance talent. Do you guys understand how that job works? EA... Essentially, Rico never works for EA. You know, he's just somebody they hire. You know, and just because he's not there doesn't mean he had a job and then he said, you're not allowed to go anymore, you know? <clears throat> so it's not like a, it's not like he had a job. Like, y'all, you know? So that's the real thing. But I wish there was more streams. I wish it was a little more. I, would, I wish every game was streamed or only the finals, you know, because, like I said, I can't get enough Madden. I don't know how you guys feel, but I would love to watch the games tomorrow. I do, now that I think, I do like there being games every day. I know Wednesday we're going to get to watch, or Thursday we start watching. <clears throat> the new guy they got is really good. He's about five foot four. He's actually pretty good. You know, now honestly, Rico, Rico has nostalgia with us. You know, he does. Um, I think we all... I don't think anybody has a problem with Rico. You know, I think he does a great job. You know, no matter what he does, what aspect of it, if he's just doing interviews, if he's doing a play-by-play, -play, like you saw a dream hack this weekend. Um, for me, I think he does a pretty good job. I think we would all agree good enough. And like I said, we all like him. You know, so it's tough to get somebody new. But the kid is pretty good. You know, I'm not that mad at him. Uh, shout out to Ray with the sub, man. Um <clears throat> It's not a contract. I guess it's a contract, really. You know, that's... I guess it's really not a con. I guess it's... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, listen. It is what it is with Rico. I mean... I think he's still going to... Uh, yeah, I think he's still going to have a lot of jobs and be around for sure. So, I, I think... I think we're getting a little carried away with the whole uh, Rico guy is don't have his job anymore, you know, as far as broadcasting and things like that. I will tell you, man, the talent has been really good. Everybody broadcasting. I, I will tell you, Mo pretty much says a, a lot of what I think during the game. Like, as soon as I, I'm thinking something that they're not saying, Mo goes ahead and says it. Uh, Mo is really good. Um, you can tell when Mo kind of talks, it's like you understand why he's good at the game. You know, like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you guys get the vibe of, okay, Mo is good at the game, you know. <clears throat> Ryan is definitely entertaining for sure. Um, like I said, I do miss, I did miss RG. Um, I felt like, at the end of the day, love having Mo, love having Skimbo. Um, but at the end of the day, what I was going to say, um, Scott Cole... And RG will still be the A team. Yeah, Pop Pavan, he just he just don't speak he don't speak as he don't speak speak as quickly as most people in the broadcast industry, pretty much. That's all. You know? And that's a talent. It's not you know, obviously Pavan knows as much about man as any one of us. But being able to speak and be able to articulate quickly and in and out. Also the one thing you guys gotta know <clears throat> Is that broadcasting to me? Uh, it, it's not only is speaking, public speaking, is a talent, and you know it's something that I had a lot of classes for, um, public speaking. So I tend to think that I'm good at it. But broadcasting is also another skill, especially when you're with other people, because you kind of have to ent entertain with them. You know, you have to work with them essentially. And I will tell you, we we kill Larry Ridley, right? Because Larry didn't know shit about Madden. He knows football, right? But he didn't know when somebody caught the ball. He didn't know what the he didn't know what plays were going. Like Larry didn't know. He doesn't know much about. He doesn't play Madden, right? Whereas we know, oh, that's a catch because the yard line changed. 
But I will tell you, somebody that worked with a lot of people, Larry is really good at broadcasting. He's really good at, at, at making sure a three-man booth doesn't trip over each other, doesn't interrupt each other. Larry is really good. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, <clears throat> the reason I thought Strafen and, and T. Davis and Rico, these guys are all friends. You know, so when they got up there, it was kind of, um, it was real natural for them to be in a booth together and talk. You know, where if you put P- 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 Pavan and Scott Cole or whatever, that's that is. I, I, let's put it like this: How many conversations have they had before then? You know, whereas Ryan and, and T. Davis, you know, they've been out, they've been hanging out, dinners, uh, everything. So they're friends. So it's a lot easier when you go up there and, and talk to somebody you're comfortable talking with, and it becomes it comes off a lot more natural than two people that are just thrown together. You know. Yeah, but Larry Larry is good at the talking part and the just navigating uh, a booth when you have that many people. Because really, three people is a lot, especially for three people is a lot for a football game. You talk about Madden, like, what can you really talk about for three people? So Larry was good at that. Um, like I said, I did think Mo was really good. Obviously, Skimbo was good when he did it. Because those, those guys just are smart, you know. They know what they're talking about and... They do a good job of articulating and explaining it well. Now, you guys, gang gang, in the chat. Now, I'll ask you guys this, chat. <clears throat> Did you guys watch New England? Because th- we're talking about this broadcast thing. Because New England, for the second year in a row, they put the airhead chick who somebody from EA is talking to this chick from New England. It's it, 1,000%. If she got a job back-to-back years at the New England Club Series, somebody in EA... That's their friend. Like they, this she do she got connections with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Let's just we're not going to details. But did you guys listen to that broadcast? Cause, cause you know what I'm saying, like yeah, like no that first of all, her at was on everything. Jehovah, you could have seen that. No, she was decent, but for sure. But she was so dumb at Madden. Like she had no idea. She had. I felt like she just never watched sports before, let alone Madden. I felt like she had no idea what was going on, you know, and and, and not, we're not, we don't give enough credit to RG from actually, RG had to sit there and talk with her the whole time during the game. Like, it's fourth and four, and she started talking about jerseys, and, and you know, what can they change the color of the cleats? RG trying to put, he's trying to tell the game. He's worried about the game. Yes, and but and, and as I was watching this, I was saying to myself, you know, this chick is so damn clueless on Madden that she could be good for the stream because of those 6,000 people, 5,000 of those people are just as clueless as she was. So she essentially was asking the dumbass questions that the chat asks. So meanwhile, I'm sitting here thinking, if you don't shut your ass up and talk about the game, but then I sat back and said, you know what? Little Timmy's probably asking the same question, you know? And little Timmy in the chat is probably like, well, gosh darn, I'm glad she asked that because I was thinking the same thing about why Bill Belichick isn't on the sideline, right? Like, really? So, I, because she was so bad, it wasn't that she wasn't bad, she was just, she didn't know what the hell was going on. She was like, now how do these guys play? How do they get, do they play this game online too? Wow, they use the same controller at home? Okay, now how do I play? Do I just need an Xbox and I can compete too? Oh, the new Madden 20 came out? Oh, it's on the new game. Oh, oh, now RG, Earlier, you said something about lineups. Can they change their lineup? Oh. Seriously, I, that's how it was. And I'm thinking, like, shut up. But as I stepped back, I really thought, like, bro, the chat is not smart. They are probably loving this chick. They are probably, you know, looking up this chick to say, good job, Rebecca. I think that's her name, Rebecca. Seriously, I thought, yeah, you know. Yeah, like I think it might I think it might be a good thing. You know, like sometimes you have to relate to the idiots. Cause the older you get, I'm 32. 
probably old. It's 300 people. I'm probably older than 280 of you guys, right? Shout out to the 20 that are my age and older. Mutt Guru, I see you in the chat. Salute. Anyway, that's it. You're going to realize as you get older, people are stupid. Like, and one of my biggest flaws as a human being is I give people way too much credit that they are the same, you know, intelligence level as me. I just think everybody walking the earth has a clue. They don't. Every day you realize they don't. People are stupid. So people need Rebecca. They need her. She helps. So when I put on a production, if I ever get to a point where Needed Gaming's put on production, I'm putting some idiots in the booth. And I'm saying, relate to the world. Tell you that. But. We need to see more streams, man. It would be cool to see Shakopee versus Trinity tomorrow, even if it's on a cell phone camera, honestly. You know, I think, I think, let's be real, chat. If we got a Periscope stream of Shakopee's game, we would watch. Bugs is definitely overrated. Bugs is boring as shit. They're, bro, listen. Bugs, my good friend. Boring as shit. It's okay. Like that, it's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be an asshole. Not everybody's going to be an eccentric asshole like myself and Mutt Guru. You know, we're they're not going to be that. The problem is when you put two of the boring, when you put a Zan and a Bugs, that 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 don't go. When you put Dubby and Bugs, okay. When you put Guru and you put Zan, that it could work. You know what I'm saying? That's perfect. That's that's all I'm saying. All right, Friday Night Football is not trash. Cause one stiff is stiff, and stiff is between pause. Stiff is in between boring and you know entertaining. Stiff is in between both of those. Pause again. RG man, there we were just talking to RG, RG, and you can explain. How you had to deal with Rebecca, who had no idea what was going on. RG, could you explain what it's like to broadcast with a girl that had no idea what was happening? And I'll tell you, as I was watching this, because I watched, not that those games were entertaining at all, you know, because I, that was like, that was the round 128 of a tournament. That's what I watched Skimbo play. But it's my point. But RG did a great job of answering her questions and getting back to the game. RJ gonna say I had to do I had to do a good job. RJ gonna say I just do. I mean I called the game. I thought he did a good job. Trey, what's up? But anyway, that we definitely want to see the Shakovi game. Hopefully somebody periscopes it. Um, but who do you guys got? That's what I do. You got Drenny or do you got Shakovi? You know this game. I will tell you, the game not being streamed benefits Shakovi. The brighter the lights, the lower Shakobi's confidence, the, the higher his folding ability becomes. I'll tell you. Now, you guys got to agree with me that you got to agree that because there's no stream, that benefits Shakobi. Let's just say. You know what I'm saying? Shakobi doesn't feel pressure when there's no stream. Oh, what did RG say? Oh, my bad. This joint kind of moving a little bit. She's asking the same questions probably every other casual fan. That's exactly what I said, RG. After, after I was like, yo, this chick is clueless. Then I was like, you know, it's probably good for the 5,000 little Johnnies in the chat. You know, RG, don't give that man her at, bro. He's not going to do anything with it. He's going to follow her. You know, oh my gosh, she's so hot. Maybe like some tweets, see if she follows back. You know, send, you know, the little, he's not going to do shit. Anyway. Damn, Mutt Groove said Journey by a million. Shakobi, listen, I might, listen, I might be on the Shakobi side. K Mac, you have tied yourself to Shakobi. Like, that's your man. Like, he got bad vibes, bro. When I got into the mad, when I, listen. When I got into the man world, I was tied to this guy balling you up and Vilma, right? 
Then I looked at my squad, right? It was Rumble, Balling You Up, Vilma. These are the guys I played with since forever, pause. And I got into the main scene, right? You know, and I got, and then I, I became good. You know, I streamed a little bit. I became good. And you know what I said? You know what? Let me hang out with that guy, Skimbo. He looks pretty fucking tough, right? Let me hang out with Bugs. Now, Bugs was kind of like, he kind of, he kind of like, that was Skimbo's friend. You know what I'm saying? I had always known Bugs from playing Players Lounge, not Players Lounge, but uh, what was it called? What the fuck was that? Virgin Gaming and stuff. So Bugs been around. So then Bugs kind of just came with Skimbo because Bugs kind of hold us back. But came back out of man, it was like, you know, I'm going to play with Shakobi. So that, that's pretty, I mean, that, Vilma was never an addition. Vilma was the squad. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, yeah. But I will tell you, to this day, Skimbo is not my Madden friend at all. Like, at fucking all. Like, no. At all. Like, no. I Honestly, I don't even, I think Taylor Gang is the only person I play Madden with. Like, at all. But then I barely do that. I just play the leaderboards. Maybe that's why I'm ass. No, for real. Like, seriously. Like, but so I give credit to K Mac for, you know, he is. He is one of the better passers, and he's friends with Shakobi. He plays with Shakobi and Oreo, and and this dude Banks, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty ragtag slobber knocking ass crew right there, dude. Like I, one of the keys to a Madden crew, right? When you go to assemble a crew, you don't want to be the best player. No, you want it's. It's like if you go out at night, right? Say you go out, right? Say you're picking three guys and y'all gonna go to the club. You don't want to be the one that gets the most chicks. You don't want to be the one that goes and shoots at the most chicks. No, you're cool being the guy that follows up. I'll be the second best. I'll be the second man in. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you don't want to lead the crew. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the best. You want to go find somebody that's better than you or just as good to make you better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if I just play Kent and Vilma and Rumble the rest of my life, I'll win, win every goddamn mad belt in the world. But no, you got to look outside. You got to look bigger, brighter, bigger future. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. Yeah. Clef got fullback. Clef got centers and right guards and stuff. All right, but anyway, it's not... Let's talk about DreamHack, man. DreamHack. I had a dream during DreamHack because the shit put me to sleep. I will tell you the games I watched in DreamHack. Clef. All Clef games I could. I watched Vilma play um, Wesley. And then I think I watched, I watched a little bit of Finals, man. Yeah, that's how I know RG. He told me which which position you want to play. I told him left tackle. So, uh, for me, no, it's about yeah. Dreamhack. Honestly, I didn't watch a lot of it. Um, I watched Jenny play Joe Rice, but I, it, after when we first watched it in the classic, you know, we didn't know. I, I felt like we didn't know how bad it was. Because you go to salary cap, you know, and you're not just getting punched in the face. Because you can do something to stop yourself from getting punched in the face. You can put a secure tackler out there. You can put a enforcer. You can put whatever the hell ability you want. In regs, you have to eat the pizza they gave you. And the pizza they gave you has no secure tacklers at all. You know, and so it's pretty much just people just holding on for dear life. Please tackle Zeke. Please tackle Zeke. Please, please, game, please. You know, so for me, uh, it wasn't that awesome, you know. Yeah, so Regs, I, I, like I said, I, I, lo I, lo I like watching Clef play. Clef versus Wesley was good. Thought Clef got cheated, you know. Um, but Wesley looked pretty good, too. Uh, Journey, Journey, at the end of the day, Journey's going to play defense. He's one of the best defensive players there is. Congratulations to him on winning. Um, I don't think... Now, I'll be proud... Because I don't think the Disney... The Disney sliders came into effect in this mode. 
You know, because EA didn't have that much control. Over. I don't know. Now, you guys that were at, how much of EA was involved in this DreamHack event? Because the Disney sliders are real at these live events. Don't be fooled. You know what I'm saying? Don't be fooled. The Disney sliders are live. At these live events, you know what I'm saying? For me, uh, the, the Disney sliders are... Uh, the Disney sliders are real. And I was talking about this earlier today. I'm like, bro, Drenny gets yards on runs that nobody else gets yards on. I remember Man 18, man. I remember he would just run inside zone on a trips tight end against 335 normal. When everybody else got hit in the backfield, Drenny got eight yards. And I'm like, he knows some shit that I'm a, I don't know what Disney slider. And I was, that's, that's where I started losing my hair. When Drenny would get eight yards on the same inside zones that Bazooka Larry ran and just he would lose two yards, Drenny got eight yards. And that's when I knew there was something wrong. I knew there was something a little suspect about this Drenny guy. You know? Like, no, but for real, Drenny uh, obviously won because of He wins every game because of defense, honestly. Like, he won eight, he's always won every game because of defense. And if you let him bust touchdown runs, then t GG's. <clears throat> yes, Jehovah, yes. But anyway, I didn't like I said, uh the most memor I don't even know the most memorable game. Um Sa I watched Safa vs. Clef. Yeah. I watched Safa vs. Fancy. Um wa like watching them play. I thought they were they were good games, honestly. So they're going to journey right there. You know what I'm saying? He knows. Like, bro, I'm telling you. He made a deal with the devil, bro. I swear to God he did, bro. Them Disney sliders. I'm telling you. Honestly, bro. And, and I want to know, like, bro, I swear journey just be picking plays on defense sometimes and be like, yo, this might work. This cover nine flip might This oaky roll might work this play. He's not ready for that. I feel like journey has the perfect balance of not sim, but, like, randomness and still knowing exactly what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he has that perfect balance that nobody else has. Like, most people run, like, the meta, and then some people are random. But Journey has a real good balance in between both of those. Like, I feel like the, I feel like he, I feel like he flirt, and even on offense, like, I feel like he flirts with the sim randomness, but then, the like, he flirts with it better than anybody, honestly. Uh, and, and that, that's what happened. Uh, Wesley, you got, it's still in the bag. Um, what else I want to say? But, uh, yeah, I mean, DreamHack looked awesome. I really didn't want to go. I Honestly, I didn't. But as soon as you see it there, I'm like, bro, I wish I would have went just to turn up with the homies. But, you know, I'm, I was chilling. Uh, <clears throat> Drenny doesn't post on YouTube or stream. But yeah, but y'all love freaking Drenny. Everybody love Drenny, Skimbo, Kiv. Oh my gosh, these guys are amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. When are you gonna stream? When are you gonna post on YouTube? They don't give a fuck about you. you know what I'm saying we are out here doing the hard work. You know what I'm saying we are gritting and grinding. You know what I'm saying meanwhile these guys don't do shit. Oh my gosh. But anyway, no, I I really I. I really wasn't that hyped to go to DreamHack. Really, I was chilling. But anyway, it looked it looked awesome. The event looked cool. It was good to see everybody there. Um, still a little, it's still a little uh, different. Um, live tournaments, man, they always gonna be a little bit different for real. You know, so yeah, Journey don't care, bro. He don't care about y'all. Yeah, I'm telling you, watch when the MCS go away. They're going to all try to stream. You know what I'm saying? See, me and Clef, we out here doing the groundwork. Me and Clef, we try, we try to build a dynasty, an empire. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's the work that starts now. It's not the work that starts in four years when the MCS going. It's the work that starts now. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Clef been grinding, though, while he see... He been gr he and, and he that's a little bit smart. Henry was one that did it. You know I'm gonna disappear. Problem even did it. He was playing FIFA for a month. You know only dumbasses play Madden all day and then go play a tournament. Like, Let's go. Me I'm dumbasses. But anyway, that was DreamHack. It was cool. Congratulations again to Drenny. 
I think this is his first tournament win without the Disney sliders. Proud of him. You know what I'm saying? By the way, let's talk about the Skimbo games. Now, I'm going to be honest. We talked about the broadcast booth. It, w- it looked like a cool event. Um, the games... Uh, uh, I, I really, wh- what do you want to talk about? You know, um, one guy's idea was I'm going to beat Skimbo with his own offense. This is nuts to me. Like, this is nuts. Like, Skimbo, okay, let's, this is, he's one of the best players, right? If you're Mr. Football, you're not one of the best players. Now, if there's anything in the world Skimbo knows how to stop, what is it? It's his own offense, right? He knows what, st- what gives him trouble. He knows what happens in a weekend league, right? Is that not the only, is that the only thing, is that not the only thing, he, the first thing he would know how to stop? So that was the first thing. He went in there, um, now, I will tell you, that's not the move. Then I watched uh, Five Cam, and I just, I mean, yes. Skimbo, hair, no, hair Skimbo is not that. He's not hoodie mellow. Let's all R-E-L-A-X. Now, a lot of people brought up Skimbo's, uh, Skimbo's khaki jogger things. I was not disappointed with. I was not upset with Skimbo's attire. I thought he looked pretty clean. I thought he actually. This was one of the uh, on, on a scale of one to ten for Skimbo swag. This was about an eight point five. I'll be honest. I wasn't even remotely mad about. It. I like the hair. He's taking lessons. He only has five or six years left of hair. You might as well make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Do something you're not going to be able to do the rest of your life. Is what I be telling you, little bastards. You know, you don't listen. You're going to lose it. Just do some stylish shit, okay? I see Kane's another one. Kane's is another one that just wakes up and goes outside. Just hair just there. Like, bro, get a little part. Might do a fade. You know, do something a little different. You know, and Wesley, Wesley is about three years away from having the exact Kiv haircut. Now, at DreamHack, they said Wesley was a chicken farmer. And I said, as I watched as I watched Wesley play Madden, I said he dresses like a chicken farmer. Like, if we all said, what does a chicken farmer wear to the club? We would pick Wesley's outfit. Wesley had a long sleeve t-shirt that was brown. And he had he had mom jeans, you know what I'm saying? Like to, like Wesley definitely was in Wranglers. They were Wrangler mom jeans. He might have had an elastic waist on those jeans. Wesley definitely looked like a chicken farmer. He had the Brett Favre's. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to Evil Ken, witness Ken. Ken's shit was wild. But anyway, back to the Patriots. Let me tell you something. I don't want to talk about these games. They were both, they, all three of the games were obnoxiously boring. Um, that is one time where, like, one of my friends was playing, and I I was just watching the last game. Like, I hope Skimbo doesn't get cheated to death. Because he might jump, he might go to the, the Patriots stadium and jump off the bridge if he got cheated in that game. That's all. I was watching the corner of my eye. All right. Make sure he don't get cheated. That's pretty much all it was. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really watch the games, but I will tell you one thing that I'm tired of, dude. Listen, you can have the utmost respect for somebody you're going to play, but you have to want to be. You cannot be sucking their dick this crazy. I am just happy to play Skimbo. He's one of the best players ever. Oh, my gosh. It was a pleasure just to play him. You will never beat him with that attitude. I don't care if you're playing Problem, if you're playing Michael Jordan, if you're playing Wayne Gretzky. Bro, you have to go in there with the attitude that you are better than that person. Have to. Like, for real. Like, I, 
personally, I think Skimbo is really good. I've always thought he's been better than me, but if I'm playing him, he's going to lose. I don't give a shit how much better than he is than me is. How much better he is than me at Madden. If I'm playing him, he is going to lose. Because I'm going to show up and fuck him. It's not, he's one of the best. It's a pleasure just to play him. No, y'all will never beat somebody like that. I'm tired of that shit, man. You know? Yeah, you got to have that light, bro. That's just how it goes, you know what I'm saying? The shirt is a boss. The D, the D is not a the D is a good place, bro. The D is a good place. Why I said some homo? What did I say? Oh, I said I didn't mean to say nothing homo. If it was homo, pause. I know, yeah, I'm sorry. It was kind of pretty much just like you gotta show up and disregard all the good. Now at the same time. Oh, well, I said I'm going to show up. Then I put a big actual pause in the sentence, chat. I put an actual pause, so it kind of got rid of that first part. You know what I'm saying? You guys need to understand, you know, speaking. This goes back to public speaking. You got to show up and fuck him. Right, for real? Once you got the pause in there, it kind of puts some dots and it's not, it's different. You know, it's the way you articulate words. You guys don't catch on. You guys are a little slow. Therefore, I did not feel as if a pause was needed. But anyway, if it was needed, pause. But I just, I was just, I'm just disappointed. And Skimbo has become this nice guy to all these mad, little Madden guys, these young men. He's become this nice, ooh. So everybody's like so happy to just play him and meet him and stuff. And I'm like, you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to beat somebody. You gotta have just, you gotta have a little bit of a killer. And now you don't gotta be Kobe, you know, but you gotta have a little bit of a killer instinct, you know. You know, that's it's, it's pretty nuts, you know. So that's one thing I, I, I will tell you guys. Because if you guys are going to keep playing, um, it's going to be situations where you go ahead and you do match up against somebody that you've heard of or somebody that you watch play or somebody that you think is good and you think is better than you. It's going to happen all the time. But you have to have the confidence and you have to have the, that killer instinct. At least fake it, dude. Seriously. You know. That uh, it is kind of how J Wall, J Wall, well, Skimbo laid down, but J Wall did have more of a I'm better than you type of attitude. You know, he had a better, I don't want to say it was, I mean, J Wall is a cocky little fucking one, two games of man in his life type of dude, you know, but he did have a better attitude, you know, as far as facing Skimbo. Whereas these other dudes have no chance, like, no chance, you know. But, like I said, Skimbo, listen, I was not, like I said, I thought it was an 8.5 on the Skimbo swag meter. He had some Nikes on. I didn't know what them little joggers were, you know. But they weren't bad. I was not disappointed in him. He, I thought he might go boot cut because Skimbo comes off as a boot cut type, you know. And I will also tell you guys, I was happy. I did not see any boot cuts of all... The clubs, and you got, a lot of you guys actually added me on Twitter underneath the pictures. Be like, man, these guys must watch the podcast because we didn't see any boot cuts today. We didn't see any boot cuts from anybody. Everybody was clean. Everybody was even. Everybody was, you know, level playing field. It, it, was, it, was, it was nice. You know, I was happy to see it. And I will tell you, the man who had the best swag, and we're going to go to this right away because there's something I want to overlap between these two clubs. The man who had the best swag was AKG. He had the best swag. And you guys will say, oh, he had a blue hoodie under the gesture. Nah. But what you guys didn't see, what you guys didn't see, AKG had blue socks on. Now, I don't remember where I saw the clip. Because I, I was looking through the games earlier. I'm, I'm going to find this clip and take a picture of He had The color of his hoodie was the color of his socks. I said, bro. And then he had the Ray-Ban glasses on. Oh, AKG was dripping. He was dripping all over the stage. You know what I'm saying? In a club that probably had the least swag because Ken messed all that up. My man Ken, bro. 
I'm gonna skip to this one because it's something I, I want to tie in to be easy with the the, the Redskins club because it was something I ain't like about what happened. No, it's different. It's different. I feel like Crush had no idea. I feel like AKG did it on purpose. AKG did it and made it cool. You know what I'm saying? Crush did it like this. Is, Crush just rolled out of bed, opened the drawer, and that was the first hoodie he he saw. He didn't even think about the shit. Way different situation. Yeah, Crush was wearing his favorite hoodie. That's all. It was way... AKG had blue socks on to match his blue hoodie. Now, I don't know why he went with... If, if, now, if Crush had blue... If Crush had blue socks on with the Bengals jersey... And on top of that, I also feel like blue and green... You know, they're both cool colors. They're both in that color scheme. Whereas the orange and blue... Orange and blue are actually complementary colors. That's why you see them used in team colors a lot. They contrast each other. Complete, they're complete opposites on the color wheel. You know, so for me, that that's why you see the Knicks with orange and blue. You know, so that made it that much uglier, you know. So, but like, like I was going to say, as we go to the, I want to talk about this. I don't really want to talk about AKG's game. It's not about the game chat. It's more about, you know, we know what it's about. You know, as my man Compton, you know, gets gets us some ads in here. Let me fit this on the screen the right way. You guys know. You guys know the vibes. Yeah, so for me, I don't know when this Be Easy thing happened. As you see, AKG, I mean, he got the skinnies. He has a, a large jersey on. And you see this guy is about 5'3". Lakey G has the glasses and he has the blue hoodie. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know when the be easy part actually happened. Oh, this is the last game. Here we go. This is Ice versus AKG. Yeah, I didn't know when this the be easy thing happened. I want to say it was early in the game. As we saw, I, one thing I like about AKG, man, as he throws a laser right there, we're going on the right thing. And he starts cat, and Ice gets mad, and he starts capping. But we have these microphones, or you guys have these microphones, right? Um, and they put these microphones on players. Now, for me, um, the microphones are cool, but I feel like it's always kind of been a negative thing. You know, can we think about something that was positive from the microphones? Chat, you guys have watched just as much Madden as me. Can you guys think about something that was positive from the microphones in the last three years? Something positive. Do you guys like it? What do you like about it? Um, is it something you think helps the broadcast? Is it something you know you think needs to be there? You know, you might beat me, but you won't. You'll never get in my head. I mean. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like Spoto and Skimbo, but that you could have heard that no matter what. Like I feel like the mic, I feel like the mic didn't, the mic didn't make that as we see Ken right there. He could not move because of that jersey right there. He could not move, couldn't move. That was his stance the whole day. He could not turn. He could not eat another pretzel. You know what I'm saying? No, seriously. Um, that's my thing. Like. Yeah, so my point is this. Did I just get be easy? Was that the be easy moment? Oh, no. This guy just came up. It's okay, okay. When did be easy happen? Does anybody remember exactly when it happened? Yeah, Chaos is biggest. I mean, Chaos owes the mic. Before, like, Chaos used the mic as that's his leverage. That was his, you know, his opportunity. He's famous because of that, you know? So he was like, I'm going to use this. I mean, that made him pop. After AKG scores. Now, I will give, I was talking about AKG, I will give him a lot of credit. A lot of people, a lot of people going with this gun bunch West Coast. Right? 
AKG is really not good at talking shit, I'll be honest. Kind of a boring capper. I think it's his accent. Like, you can't take somebody serious like that that's African, dude, when they're capping at you. It just sounds funny. Right? Like, every time somebody, like, is like that, it's like, they just sound like Michael Blackson to me. Right? I just think of Michael Blackson. Like, bro, you can't be serious. Okay. Was that to be easy? No, you guys, you guys bluffed me. Yeah, like, I always, I always feel like, man, I always feel like, it's just funny. You know? It's, it's just like, all right, dude, calm down. As we see Clinton Porter's, like I was, I was, I've been wanting to say this about AKG for like the last ten minutes. But seriously, we see a lot of people use West Coast, and a lot of people use um. Timestamp in the video. What? Oh, somebody probably. <laughs> Damn! Somebody called him a school shooter. Damn. Does Skimbo still play? Golly, man. That's how you know. Skimbo don't care about a community. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Hey, be easy. There it is. Negative eight yard. <laughs> you have four rushes for negative eight yard. <laughs> like, any man says you have negative eight yard. Like, you can't take it for a You have negative eight yard. Like, you can't take anybody seriously. Like, what? Every first down. Every first Pass down. the ball. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Like, just air it out. You're passing the ball successfully, and you're putting yourself in trouble. He said, I'm sorry. <laughs> he started shaking his head like, yo, this. Look. Look how he set up. Damn. <laughs> Yo, he really set up. You got hit Yo, he tapped. <laughs> Yo, he tapped the clipboard. Second 10, second 11, second and 15. That's that boat. Like, just air it out. You're passing the ball successfully, and you're putting yourself in tr <laughs> tricky situations when Damn. you run the ball. Now, honestly, like I said, I've been wanting to say about AKG is that he running West Coast. He's running bunch. But he has a... Have we seen anybody else running West Coast with a running back ability? AKG is not stupid. He understands how the game is working. And he understands, um, you know, what's good in the game. You know, so for me, it's pretty good that he... It, obviously, Clinton Porters did work for him. He won the club. Um, as we see Ice up here with Christian Okoye. Listen, man. Yeah, he definitely sat up like, my bad, G. Like, you could tell AKG used to get yelled at. Like, his family ain't playing around. They was strict. You could tell. They was definitely strict. He said, all right, I'm done. Say no more. But, uh, yeah, so what? Let's think about it. Does anybody else? Yes, exactly. He doesn't want to pass every play. That's a good, but I'm, that's one of my points. Ooh, Dan, that was almost lurk. So hard to play offense. You can see Ice Dan, like, 3-4 uh, Bear. 3-4 Bear just kind of bagged him. It definitely hurts. It definitely hurts his defense. We're using that, you know. But he doesn't have a skate artist, so he has arm barns or jukebox instead. And I think, I, and he did a good job of being able to pass when he needed to, and shoot, and it worked out for him. As we see, that was actually a good dot. AKG, like I said, every time a bad play happened, AKG blamed his controller and called for admin. Hitting the PAT has tied us up. This is wrong. I don't like my guy pausing after touchdown. Every time I blitz, <laughs> my man don't blitz. <laughs> it's like every time I blitz, they score touchdowns on me. What's up with that? <laughs> admin kick. He can't give you any help. <laughs> every time I blitz, they score. T oh man, yeah. It looked like he looked like he got caught up in a bad defense right there, and he tried to dive and stop him from the, making the first down, and he had no chance of making that tackle. He should have just wrapped him up, gives Ice a free touchdown, and when Ice is really kind of struggling on offense, you can't do that. <laughs> Looks like his confidence maybe got a little shaken there on that last play. Uh, my man Gang Gang is a character, bro. Craftsman never blames his tools, but certainly could make the stop as Tory Holt picked up the first down. and then he This is a fake off. injury. <laughs> this is the eSport version of a fake injury. 
<laughs> Damn, kid, did you fake the injury? Here goes child like what? The fourth and ten, and then give it up. What's you know wrong? What I mean? it, it just looks a little silly. Longtime Madden player and longtime admin Justin Chow out to talk to AKG. Certainly, Chow's been in these situations. Many. Tell me this, Wesley and Chow, same swag, same swag. Tell me I'm wrong. West, same haircut, damn near, same swag. Wesley and Chow. Like, if you mixed Chow's haircut and Kiv's haircut, would be Wesley's haircut. Like, in between Chow and Kiv is Wesley. That's, like, Kiv, Chow, Wesley is if, if if Kiv took Chow under his, under his wing. For real. Am I lying? Like, like, this is what Wesley, this is Wesley before <laughs> Kiv. Then he hung out with Kiv. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, you know, he started he started growing out, put a little product in it. Like if you if you put a little product in, in the child come over, it's pretty much Wesley. That's I mean that's the difference. I I just... See AKG with the blue socks. See y'all didn't peep. I said okay, this was, his little outfit was planned. And you know what these guys are thinking? Yo, stop bitching. There's nothing wrong with your controller, B. <laughs> and honestly. This is why you bring your own controller. Now, it looks like that's AKG's own controller. I saw some other people. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But, bro, bring your own controller to these tournaments. All right? Here goes another question. Here goes another point I'm going to tell you. If you don't bring your own controller, do not complain about the controller that they give you. Because you left it up to EA to give you a controller. And that controller might be some shit. You know? You cannot... Play with their controllers. Ties up at 14. Bring your own controller. If AKG had been playing for a long time, I'd say it was a bit of gamemanship. You know, maybe take a little bit of the momentum out, but certainly he was where I here's AKG will go to the air. And it's an accurate pass. Pressure and accurate, Rams, boys. Really been a bright spot to run. How did AKG Second win this game? Seven. That's been so much mad, I kind of forget these games. AKG playing against the 146. We go with the Clint Porter sweep. And wow, what a lucky tackle right there by Shaw, the 10 cap. Journey, you see? Journey, that's because you have Disney sliders. They program the they give you a special golden controller. Like, this is our golden boy. Here you go, give him the controller. Then you sit right there. Journey, I don't bring my own controller. Guys, I, I mean, if there's any more evidence that they cheat for Journey, I mean, please look at this dot by AKG. Laser. Yes, Drini, Drini, I'm telling you, they give him his own controller. Chow walks it out in a little case. That's how they plug in the Disney DDA, through the controller. Yes, that's it. You got, like, listen, guys, I can't, you guys think I'm making it up like it's a joke, but every every day I'm just, I'm just giving more evidence that they cheat for Journey. Oh, look at Clint. Oh, Clint Porter just, just got sniped out of the crowd. Yeah, I'm telling you, Journey's going. At one point, Journey's going to play like Journey's going to play Henry, and they're, they're just going to. It's just going to be so much Disney that it's going to implode. I don't know. I don't know. Who else would be Disney? Skimbo's pretty damn Disney, dude. There goes Clint Portis. Oh man. Who other than Journey? Who's the most Disney character in Madden right now, Chat? Other than Journey, who's the most Disney character? That's what I ask you guys as we watch the end of this game from AKG. Like I said, he used West Coast, but he used the running back. Uh, the running back abilities, I mean, Escape Artist, I think, is the best. But the running back abilities are really game-changing as well, and he chose to use that. Bugs? Pot? No, nah, Pavon. I don't think Pavon's that Disney. Bugs is pretty damn Disney. I would think Chaos is pretty damn Disney. But he had that outburst, so he's not. No, Kip not Disney no more. I'm just trying to think. And we see Clinton Port is just another play to the end zone. Bang. Now, I, and we're going to talk about the cap going up, right? Chat. I'd be interested to see all these players that won, all these good players that have advanced, where are they going to use their cap? Now, if you watch this game, and, and we've watched the hell out of this game for the last two, three weeks, yo, Jukebox is pretty damn serious. I don't care if you're a passer. I don't care what your play style is, man. To not think about adding jukebox is, bro, seriously. Like, ser like, 
I don't care if you pass every play. I don't care if you're skimbo and you put a streak, a corner route, and an in route every play. I mean, you could f- got to find some way to put this ability in. It. Like, it, I don't have. If you put it at receivers, if you put it somewhere, I, honestly, man, I, I think it's the most. It, it's really good. It really is. So to not have that, uh, it's pretty nice, especially when, uh, especially when they're up in the cap. So now we have ice, little ice. Ice, man, Ice is a good guy. Yeah, well, you know, if, if you if you didn't watch Skimbo's game, I mean, Jesus. Now, I mean, Ice has a money drop situation. Yeah, so I like I said, AKG was probably the first one to use West Coast and also use the running back. My man is, okay, he's blocking everybody this play. Good job with Vic, man. Now you got to make somebody miss right there. You know, you got Vic. Don't be afraid of Palomalu. Make some plays, man. Your offense isn't really going for you. You know, you could hit a spin move right there, and who knows what happens. Zubox is not better than escape artist, but you know. As you can see, this is probably an... You know, and I, the escape artist is just super tough. You know, it's super good. He's running away from all these brushers. Do you see how how they need to patch escape artists? He's just running away from everybody. Wow. You know. Like we really need to patch it. Let's see. Let's see how he Michael Vick's away from it now. Okay. Wow. Everybody got blocked. Oh wow. This fat guy can't catch Vick. Let's patch escape artists. Ninety eight can't catch Vick. Like we gotta patch it. Gotta patch it. Escape artist is just too good, boys. Oh my god. Why can Michael Vick outrun my 10 cap 98? Yeah, he fought. Like, what, what do you want to do? Now, AKZ is up against it right now. As he throws the out route to McLaren, uh, to Moss. Look, yeah, that's Moss. Yeah, we need a patch escape artist. Boy, oh boy. I mean, Michael Vick was just running away from Lawrence Taylor and Clowney the whole game. You know. Here we go again. Vic running away. Oh, no, he had a pass. And Christian Okoye, that his 80-cap fullback that just got tackled by some 10-cap. Vic came out. That's what I'm saying. There's been a lot of talk about patching escape bars. You know, a lot of talk about that. Uh, and here we go. Vic running away. Oh, no, he had a pass. A laser. Lasers right there by ice. Oh, yeah, I remember what happens here now. I believe I remember. I'm just saying, Vic does not outrun anybody. Play weekend league with a skateboard. As we see, Ice with a very Skimbo-esque outfit right there, you know? The Wranglers, the Nikes from the... You ever you ever go to the outlets? You guys ever go to the Nike outlets? You know, and they have the Nike, like the stock Nike, the stock Nike shoes, like the base one Nike shoe, like whatever Nike shoe, the first one they made that year, that's that's the shoe they have, right? That's the shoe that Ice has, just the standard Nikes, the thirty four ninety nine joints from the Nike outlet. Those are the ones I'm rocking. I respect it. Can't go wrong. We see Ice coming down here. Still, Michael Vick. I mean, oh my, I would have been sick. I would have been sick. Pat Pete would never drop that. Pat Pete would never drop that. Now we see, now we see AKG. Now we can go back into AKG's life. Now we have watched AKG lose the ice because, and then we see AKG go on Twitter. Oh my gosh, I lost because of a drop pick. I could have picked the ball. I lost. Madden sucks. Oh, I got to do that. Madden sucks. <laughs> I can't do it. Everyone was. Madden sucks. I lost because he don't catch the ball. He don't catch ball at end. Madden sucks. I put all of my time in this game. Madden sucks. Right? That's how AKG was for the last two years. So now he comes here, drops this easy ass pick. Right? He drops this easy pick. I dropped the ball. All my players dropped the ball. They dropped the ball. You have four carries for four yard. And he dropped the ball here. Oh, no, that's the next play. And he catches the pick. So before, he would have cried like a little baby. I don't know the ball. The ball. I dropped the ball. So he, he drops that pick. I'm going to cry. Look, next play, next play. What did he say? He said, next play, next play. Next play, next play. 
Nick play, 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 Nick play. And then Ward couldn't scoop it up. And the next play catches a pick. So that shows you guys, man, if you keep your composure, good things will happen. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened to AKG as my man Ice with 10 seconds and two timeouts fires this ball right at Deion Sanders. Um, and that's the GG's. Good game by Ice. Uh, when you get down there, it's really tough. I don't really know if there's anything else I would have said to do um, because AKG is still in this bear. Bear, ha I, I think, has been the best defense as far as rushing and not being against Bunch. I think uh, I, I don't even know how I would attack because you just can't block it. As much as we say escape artists, if these seven guys can't block these seven, I mean, you need to be able to get away from your quarterback, you know? Honestly, neck play, neck play, <laughs> neck play. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely tough if you can't block these guys to play without a mobile quarterback, you know? And that's what happened this play. Now, this is what I question. Uh, is blocking one person. I think that's what he did this play, yeah. Block one person, let this guy, I mean, you want to block two. If you want to block one, you might as well block two, right, chat? But this is just a post route. And this is how you have to play. If it, I mean, he has escape bars. But you can't go out because, look, this contain's actually working. Look, he's containing. This one came free. This guy's containing. You go out this way, this guy's on your ass, you know? And, uh, boom. That's the game. But anyway, as we go on to that, that was that was be easy. You know what I'm saying? You guys saw be easy. Um, now we got to talk about my man, Ken, bro. This jersey was kind of wild. Now, Ken is not, he's not the smallest guy. You know, Ken is a good. He might be. He might need a large. I think he could have got away with a medium. You know what I'm saying I, this. This jersey was a. I mean, you know, for me, uh, I don't understand. Now, I will tell you this. Um, me myself, I've known Ken for a long time. I follow him on Instagram. I like Ken's pictures. Ken normally does have some pretty snug shit on. I think he just took it to another level for the man championship. Like, bro, he like, like I said, I, I could see his chest hair through this jersey. You know, it was pretty nuts. Uh, Yeah, I, I, but he chose that. It's not like he, it's not like they gave it to him. And he chose that. They said, what size you want? He says small. I saw it. It says small. It said small. You know what I'm saying so for me, uh, a little questionable. Yeah, it pretty much was a body paint. Tough to move like that, man. I I might that's that's what I, I would probably look like that in a in a large right now. You know what I'm saying yeah, that's how I'm saying, Rocky. When you a little pudgy, I don't know how you feel about. I don't know how I feel about. The, I, I wouldn't even want to wear a shirt like that if I if I was built like the Rock. You know what I'm saying, Chat? No, it wasn't a medium. That was a dead ass small. I saw it because I said, God damn, what size is that? And all you got to do is look at the little tag on the bottom of the jersey. The shit says small. He said, yo, I want the small. I don't know how any, what other man tournament guys wear the small. Can we think about another man guy that would ask for the small? I even think little man asks for a medium. I think little man goes medium. I don't think he says I want a small. What do we think, Chad? Is there anybody you think orders a small? You know? Think about... Yeah, like, I, I just... I, I I can't think of another player. Wesley is not little man height. Look, look, AKG actually types... AKG types in Africa, too. Even I order a larger... He don't even know how to like type regular ass words. And this is why that pass lead shit will always be broken. Just like in regs, it looks cute. It looks cute, doesn't it? It looks cute. It looks good when he does these little pass leads for two point conversions and all this other stuff. It looks cute. But this is just like Tom Brady. It's just like Phillip Rivers and regs. It's just like Aaron Rodgers. They want to have this guy and just throw it to him. Bullet pass accurate pick. You know? So that's why people aren't you don't use the pass lead guys. 
you know, if it was good, you know, it's just it's, it's just tough to use that guy. You know, it's tough to use an immobile quarterback no matter how much is good. You don't see anybody. I, other than Ghost, and we'll get to Ghost, um, because I thought Ghost was really good. Probably the only person I've seen that knows how to pass that uses High Route Master. You know, he's the only person. You know, let's think about what other passer that can pass as a good passer uses Hot Route Master. Yeah, I don't know. The small was really, I, I mean, this was like, you know your jersey tight when you have like no wrinkles in it. Like it's just, it's just, it's just all you, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, when we get to the Madden, uh, this is just having an immobile quarterback against 3-4. Ken's offense, now Chet, if you guys watched the first game, Ken versus that, that kid, I didn't know, I don't, New York Fresh, yeah. Now, Ken's offense looked high-powered in that game, right? Ken's offense looked high-powered. You know, I, I was watching, I'm like, damn, this shit is tough. Ken, Ken is laser and shit, cause, mostly because that kid didn't really know how to play defense, or he didn't know the weakness of an immobile quarterback is blitz the hell out of it. So I was interested in seeing how that Ace Twins really held up against 3-4. And once AKG put that 3-4 on him, I mean, it really kind of got ugly, honestly. You know, yeah. You just got, like I said, I I, I was thinking that maybe uh, this Ace Twins, um, if you block both tight ends, maybe they would pick up the pressure. But it's just the same thing as Bunch, man. The tight end just cannot block 3-4. And then you're sitting there with just an immobile quarterback and Phillip Rivers that really can't move. So it, w it was tough to watch that. Because, I mean, I, listen, AKG is my buddy. That's my guy. Probably always will be. However, I always will root for old heads. Um, so I'm definitely rooting for Ken, I think. In this. I don't think it was that crazy. But I like to, I like to uh, root for Ken any opportunity he has, really. Um, so it was tough to see him just get bagged by the same thing I'm getting bagged by in same thing I'm getting bagged by in DC blitz every person, you know. But that's that was that. So I'm happy AKG won. Uh it's been a long time. Uh let me see this interview. Oh, we see the fist pump from AKG. Whoa! Yeah, has Philip Rivers won a game? That's a good point, Cole. Has Philip the chat? Has Philip Rivers won a game? Let's see what AKG got to say. Of course, AKG, you can see his road there, beating. Don't care about ice, and then beating. Evil Ken and the champ is with Evan. All right, we got the champ here of the Jets, AKG. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. It, it was a huge effort, and obviously, this is your fourth career Final Four. Right. You have finally reached the top of the mountain. How, how big of a moment is this for you? Um, I'm, just, I'm honestly happy. I'm not going to lie, but um, this job is not done. Um, it's been, you know, this is the best I've ever been playing, honestly, but got to get better and uh, move on to the next one, Final Three or two. When you, when you mean the job's not done, you're referring to the club championships. Right. Yeah. 17th to 20th. Yeah, um, so, yeah, this is like the last 32 teams we got to represent. I got to go out there, make sure I keep pushing with my Jets, try to, you know, take them over. Uh, how is your confidence for that tournament? Um, Obviously, that's the next step. I always have, you know, hold myself to high standards. Yeah. And um, so I'll, you know, put in the time, and I'll make sure I get there. All right, let's look at the pick that sealed the deal here in the third quarter. Gave you a bit of an option. You can look here on the board. Walk me through what was going on in your head at this moment. Um, I knew I couldn't send pressure because he had everybody, you know, lined out. And his quarterback was the only one that was behind the five linemen, so I just played pure coverage. And I also had to play the sideline because he couldn't, you know, get out of bounds. I couldn't afford to let him get out of bounds, so I had hard flash and uh, straight cover four, so I just left the corner out. All right. Well, you did great on the field, but off the field, you're still a huge Jets fan. How much does it mean to actually represent a club that you are a huge it means fan everything. of? I honestly love this team, and um, I'm <laughs> speechless. Uh, you're I love speechless. Yeah. Well, guess what? We got something else from the Jets specifically to you because oh of how God. well you played a Sam Darnold signed helmet. The Sam Darnold signed helmet. Now, I was thinking, like I said, Twitter, I would have put that joint right on. You'd have been the man if you put the helmet on. You would have been the man if you put the helmet on. Now, I will tell you the only thing, AKG, I, talk with your hands, man. Use your hands when you talk. It engages your audience, makes you feel more human, makes you look more comfortable. 
uh, makes your whole makes your whole aura better. Talk with your hands. A little bit more hand movement. The still hands make you feel makes you feel a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you're not comfortable up there. That's all. I mean, he. Well, I thought he did look at him. I think he definitely looked at him, and I think, I think one thing I always try to do is look at him and then look at the camera because you're talking to all them people as well, you know. You know, I think, uh, looking at the camp when you're at these man events, you're talking to this interview person, but you're talking to the camera, you know. That's the people that's watching. You forget this guy. That guy, yeah, he's cool, but you know, talk to him and then talk to the camera a little bit. Engage the camera. You know what I'm saying? Long way down. Long way down. All right, what are we talking about? All right, I do want to talk about ghosts. Ghosts and, um, as I got this game queued up, ghosts and techers. One thing I want to show you guys real quick, though, that pissed me off about, and why I want to tie in something that I noticed. I wanted to tie in the Be Easy with the Redskins Club. Now, you guys come here, we're going to watch... Big Show, who's my guy, he hit me up, you know, earlier, like, bro, with that blah, blah, blah. And I thought he was, first of all, he was super entertaining because he didn't stop talking. He also said, hang yourself one time, which is pretty nuts. Um, But he didn't mean it in a bad way. If you guys watch me play, you know, which you guys probably do all the time, you guys know that... Um, a lot of times when some before the half, right? Before the half, I say that you know I say kill you. You he gonna kill himself now? It's not like a derogatory. I, I guess it's a bad. It, obviously it's bad, but I say it all the time before the half. You know, I say chat. You guys know what he gonna do? He gonna kill himself now, right? I say that all the time. As we get to a second and two, I forget where it is. He's like, the one in Big Show was like, this is embarrassing. And now we go yeah. back to the decision. <laughs> this dude Big Show was kind of hell. Big Show will have a minute 13 left, but has no way to stop the clock. Yeah, definitely. And he's going to be passing pretty much every play. Those runoffs are going to be. Where's, did they very time stamp right this one? As this is the play that really set it all up. Jim Brown says, get off me. Yeah, Jim Brown, a little nice, Ooh. sticky stop and go right there. That was just very. Oh, this run was tough. Yeah, Jim Brown, a little nice, Ooh. sticky stop and go right there. That was just very, 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 a very great play right there. Where was this fake punt at, bro? What is this year, Pav? In five seconds left. Last crazy. year, we'd be Here looking at some sort of pass down the field. This year, crazy let Jim out. and Joe go to work. Yeah, 100%. Last year, there would be some type of coverage beater, you know, going deep, ad catch ah. or something. This year, you primarily see runs on these types. When was this fake punt? I swear that's when it was. The fake punt was kind of hell. Yeah, hang yourself was a little bit more aggressive. Fourth and 11. Hey, look, this is what I was mad at, bro. Is punting not a bad. Pass, he changed the game plan and Big Show no says, that's easy, I'll take that. Now hang yourself. <laughs> look, now he could, look, he calling his play and look who comes up. The Be Easy guy. This is the white Be Easy guy. This is not the black guy. This is the white Be Easy guy. And look at this little fucking cheater right here. Look at him. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to use my fake punt. Meanwhile, my poor guy Big Show is getting told be easy. You know what I'm saying? Chat, do you see this? This guy, look at this face. This is the face of a scammer. Of a scam. Are you see that little smirk? Like, ha, ha, ha. He doesn't know what's coming. Ha, ha, ha. Joke's on you, Big Show. Right? And here comes this guy. You know, this goddamn admin. He comes over here, and he got to go ahead and talk to my man, Big Show. Look. Big Show's like, what? No, what, what's up? Okay. My bad. Look, damn, they just told me I'm saying? I'm punting, and it looks like they distracted my man. Look at, look at him. Look at his face. Look, and I saw it. Look, see? <laughs> look at him. Look at this. Yo, 
Yo, look at this little slime ball. Like a slime ball. But I'm telling you, my man got distracted from this is the great value, be easy guy. Be easy. What do you think his his drill don't say be easy? What does the white guy's clipboard say? Chat, I will ask you guys this right now. What does the white guy the white guy had two words to write on his clipboard? What did his say? What did his stop, please? Take it easy. <laughs> Keep it cool. <laughs> Calm down. Bro, you're gone. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo what, what if his clipboard said, hang yourself? Watch it. Oh my god, dude, that's funny. My dad works at EA. Relax, bud. <laughs> no, but for real, like, this is why, and when I saw this, I'm like, yo, this is why they got to get rid of the microphones. If you have to do this in the middle, this this guy, Big Show, this is the biggest game he ever played, by far. Probably going to be the biggest play game he probably ever plays. He can stay at it and keep getting better, but this is the biggest game he ever played. And he's in an absolute sweat box against Jim Brown and the scammer of the year with Joe Thomas. I'm just going to run, 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 run. That's what he's in. Because look, he went to pass. And what did I say? Chat, what did I tell you every time? What does every little bummy runner's favorite play to throw? No matter, no matter how much pressure is here. Look, this is the scammer's thoughts. No, how much, how many fucking people are blitzing? The running back's still going on the wheel route, chat. The running back is still going on the wheel route, chat. No matter how, look, like I wonder what Banks is thinking right now. Wow, I hope he doesn't blitz me. But what does he go for? Running back wheel, chat. Out route, running back wheel, post route. Make a read. Like at what? Like this girl. Like at what point did, was he like this will work? And that's what he thought. I, like what was the throw when you knew this guy would see this guy right here with the star under his feet? This this gladiator right here, touch pass. Yeah, like what was the read? Honestly, like. Honestly, most of the plays I put out, I have a read where, damn, if he blitzes the shit out of me, I want to snap throw this. So this this was it. <laughs> but anyway, so look. That's easy. I'll take that. Now hang yourself. There he is. But now here comes a great value be easy guy. Distracts him. While this the you know the ginger. You can't ever trust the ginger trap. Look at his face. Look at this. <laughs> Yo, the way he stopped talking. <laughs> no. Chat, I'm sorry. Yo, the way he stopped talking in the middle of the play, though. Look. <laughs> Yo. No, y'all really. No, seriously. Listen to the way he dead ass just stopped talking. Oh, my God. This shit is funny. Like he can't happen, it just stops. It looks like he is punting. Not a bad call at all. You know, he could oh, I don't know why I'm not in cover through cloud before. I got D for it. I'm filming. Yo, that's nuts, man. That's crazy, dude. No, my man, my man, uh, what's my call? Nick be going crazy. Nick is good. But this dude is such a little scam. This dude will steal money out the offering tray at church. I look at like he is just dude. You talk about a guy. You want this. You don't want this. You want this guy. See, we talked about K Max decision to add Jacoby and be friends with Jacoby. This Banks kid, that's the guy you want in your corner, bro. Cause he gonna do the slimy shit for the crew. I'll tell you that. Like he is gonna do the slimy. I'm telling you. He is gonna listen. He's going to find the slimy stuff to do. You need one of those guys. Seriously. He would steal money out the offering tray. I'm telling you, he's a scammer. Banks IQ is in the chat, man. Banks IQ, what, what, what's Banks IQ's life like? Are we like a high school kid? Are we a college kid? Like, what's our, what's like, like, I, I, I could see him being the, the super, chat, what's a scandalous ass career or profession? Like, what, think about it. 
definitely could see lawyer. I don't know if lawyer would be like I feel like that's what I'm saying. But he's definitely yeah. He takes mints. Yes, he doesn't just take one mint. He takes a handful of mints. He's the guy to take a handful of mints at at the at the diner. I'm saying used car salesman. I he I can see him selling the shit out of some cars. Chat seriously. That face with the fake punt. I'm telling. Look at this poor guy. This poor guy. First of all. He went to, first of all, he had the guy tell him calm down. Then he got fake punted. He's been getting punched in the face every damn play. Look, look, no, my man Big Show is locked in. Dude, you have never seen a man look at a TV, you know, stronger and more focused than Big Show looks at the TV when he plays. Yes, I, listen, out bill collector. Yo, Banks IQ is definitely. <laughs> Yo, Big Show definitely went through the gauntlet. <laughs> he went through the gauntlet. This dude banks, man. A bond of bills, bondsman. Yo. Banks takes the whole bowl of candy on Halloween. Jesus. <laughs> this dude's sick. <laughs> like, look how he looking at the TV. Yo. Yo, he looking like the TV, like... Yo, my man Banks. Shout out to Banks, man. That's my guy. That's my guy. But anyway, that's why I wanted to, I wanted to do the Jets before the Redskins. Just because it just ties into like, bro, if we're going to have this many restrictions on what people as we go. Look, another just look at this scammer. Look at Look at how happy he is for scamming RPO in him. Look at that. Look at the joy of the RPO touchdown in his face. Look like, ha, <laughs> ha. My first pass of the my first pass of Madden twenty. <laughs> Saul Goodman. <laughs> I'm telling you, Banks is definitely a Saul Goodman. Like that, look, look, he doing. Like he does a little gun. He does a little gun flash. Like yeah, that was a hot one. Look what he catches this RPO. Look, 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 look. Like yeah, that's a dot. Look, look. <laughs> Shooter McGavin. <laughs> Shooter McGavin at the RPO. <laughs> RPO McGavin. <laughs> Golly. Get the fuck. <laughs> yo, I need a bangs, bro. What, yo, yo, is it? <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Lie, cheat, steal. He definitely did the Shooter McGavin after the RPO. <laughs> Yo, my man, Big Show. Yo, this is, I don't, I didn't even think about this game, but man, this one is comical, man. Holy shit. Yo, I like this Big Show, dude. Yo, this is literally my kick return on Weekend League. Like, bro, you're leaving it all out there. Dion, Dion is going to make a play for you, bro. Like, what? Like, golly, I don't need this possession that bad. Yo, the way he'd look at the TV, dude. Uh, shout out Big Show. No, for real. Me and my man Big Show talked a lot before this. Who was Coleman, man? RPO McGavin. <laughs> yo. Look at yo, I Big Show locks into that that monitor, bro. Like he locks into that thing. Okay, the no huddle early in the drive. Okay, I like it. Now, I will tell you, Big Show is the first, the second guy who I think has the perfect offensive lineup. The second guy that has Escape Artist and Jukebox. Do you guys know who the other person that played with Escape Artist and Jukebox? Or it might not have been Jukebox. It might have just been, oh, he actually had Armbar. The other guy had Escape Artist and Armbar. Mills. Now, I tell you, I feel like these guys are the smartest people in the world. That is the two best abilities, and they have both of them. The only people that have both of them. Bro, yeah, that was... that. So, I, like I said... Ooh, look at Shazier making a big tackle right there. So, we got a no huddle. Catch your breath, Big Show. You're good. You're only down eight. Fourth and four. Chat, what's your call? Chat, I'm asking you. What's your call? 
Yo, he would have been a savage if he ran a fake punt on him. If he, yo, if he ran, bro, what if he ran a fake punt right here? He'd be hell. <laughs> yo, you know, bro. Thanks to the fist pump. <laughs> yo, this dude Banks, bro, he's a character. Okay. Oh, man. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at this play. I'm not. I mean, sh I mean, the nub the nub just made a crazy-ass play for him. I, the nub came from blitzing and just. Now, this is where, chat, second level, you got to juke to the right. Hit him with a right, a right juke so you get out to the sideline. That could have been a touchdown, really. He went back to the left juke. Worst animation. Banks ain't do no fist bump at the two minute warning. <laughs> nah. Yo, he did quit. He got up and quit. Damn. It's not a big show though, man. This one of the things about the club series that's good. Uh, it, it's definitely fun. Look, Big Show, look. Stay true to his handshake. He watch. He watch. You see who didn't stay true? The scammer. The scammer didn't stay true. The scammer didn't stay true. Look. Who stayed true and who didn't is the question. The scammer will do anything to build your confidence in the scammer. <laughs> yeah, he's sick. Bro, the scammer will do anything to build your confidence up and steal it. I'm telling you. The scammer, bro. Don't trust the scammer. Look at the admin, bro. He got the AKG stance. This is how AKG stood doing it during his interview. God damn. This this admin, bro. Shout out to him. Yes. Bro. Banks has 14 accounts on Mudhead. 1,000%. Banks is, oh my gosh. Dude, the shooter McGavin after the RPO. Look at this. Look, yo. Damn, bro. This is just. <laughs> the shooter McGavin. <laughs> look, look at his smile. <laughs> the shooter. Bro, this is enough. Shooter McGavin, man. That was hell. But no, that was a good club. Oh, well, actually, what I wanted to talk about is Ghost Game. That's what I wanted. To, that was that was, Ghost Game chat. You guys thought to me it was probably uh, one of the most entertaining games. If not the most entertaining. What was the most entertaining game? Like, the only game. Like, let's talk about it, chat. The only game. Not like series. Not like storyline. Literal Madden game. Like which one? Which one was better than Ghost Game? I thought this was really good. Now, for the um, purpose of time, um, all right, I'm talking about this week in the whole, chat. I'm talking about this week since last, since last podcast is what I was talking about. This week is what I mean. This week, you know. Just this week. This was the best one of the week, though, right? Now, this is why it's up. People have been telling me about this Techers, this 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 Brit. They've been telling me about him on the Xbox side or on the PlayStation side. As Ghost hits a laser right there to John Ross and does a little dance. Everybody that has done a little dance this tournament has lost. Don't do a little dance. I will show a, le a dance later. I will show a, a dance later in the podcast that's worse than Ghost's dance. Don't do a dance. Not good. No one doing dances up there will ever win. You know what I'm saying? So people have been telling me about this Tucker's character. I said they've been telling me about him. Now, I personally feel like playing Ghost a lot in practice games and ladder games and games, I think Ghost is really good. Um... As that was a laser right there, John Ross. Okay, I think Ghost is really good. 
I think he's really creative. Um, I think he's smart. I think he lies about every game he's played, though. He never he never cheats anybody, and he always gets cheated. But honestly, I do think Ghost is really good. Um, so I always like watching Ghost play. We were all excited about it. It was the first time we were able to watch Ghost play. And he was using Phillip Rivers. Now, me, myself, hell no. Phillip Rivers, he is not it. No matter how many cute hot routes you can do and everything, the, what Phillip Rivers can do, the mobile quarterbacks can do just as well, and they can also run. As we see, Techers is in the Techers is in one of these uh, one of these eye strong flip type you know strong eye eye wing wing type wing wing like one of these you know these lies cheat steal offenses because all he's trying to do is lie steal and chill his way to a touchdown. He doesn't want to outthink you. He just wants to, you know, run the ball and bust a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? And this is what he does. And Ghost has this Troy Palomalu, and he has secure tackler on his other safety, which I like. I was, am a fan of the secure tacklers, as we see Palomalu get juked out of his shoes for the first time in this game. Juked out of his shoes. That will come into a play later in the game, as you guys know. As we see a third and two, Clinton Portis, Palomalu. Good job by Ghost, not falling for these stupid-ass moves. Something I don't see enough people doing, clicking on, letting him do these dumb-ass moves, tiring him out. Would love to land a hit stick possibly after that. Because if you hit stick or running, look at how tired his running back is. If he would have caught a hit stick right here, oh, that ball's coming out after all them jukes and jobs. So great job by Ghost making that tackle. But Ghost is pissed. This guy is lying and cheating his way for yards right now. You know? Yeah, jukebox is, is really good, you know? So I think if, if if I was good enough to still be in this tournament, no matter how much I'm a runner or passer, I think jukebox could be fit somewhere on the team. So we see more lying, cheating, and stealing from Techers as he goes to a pass play. One thing about this offense that was good for Techers, man, that was a nice little mix-up. One thing about playing the run is a lot of times you're in the man coverage. A lot of you're in the man coverage. You're past the most run defenses. And you guys in the chat, you guys on YouTube can think about, what do I run for run defense? You know, and think about, is that good pass defense? And the majority of the time, no, it is not. You know, so for me, uh, that's one thing that gives me trouble is trying to stop people that pass out of um, running sets. As we see, ghost. Ghost Palomalu, uh, Techers is blocking Palomalu every play, which for me, I'd be upset if I was Ghost. And the one thing about both the way Techers plays, running the ball, and the way Ghost plays with his little 10-yard you know, dots up and down the field, um, the clock is going to run. You know, uh, the clock is going to run. As we see here, we're almost done the first quarter. Techers with his strong eye. A couple more dots as we see motion in going to be out. What? The, how many times have I told you guys? The runner's favorite pass play is running back wheel. You know, here it is again. He just throws it to him. Doesn't even need to be open, chat. We can just throw it to him, and, it, and it, you know what I'm saying? And we can make a play because he's the best player on my team. And honestly, if you had the best player on my team, I'm going to give him the ball too. Juke one person. Here goes Palmolo. You got to be afraid of Palmolo there because after you juke, man, you lost a lot of stamina as we see Portis in the huddle on yellow, orange almost. The one thing about jukebox as opposed to, as Legend asked, the secure tackle and fakeable counter. Yes, but the thing about that is jukebox, you can use it without being around a defender. So you can juke and change direction and change the angle that you're going without being by a defender. Whereas armbar, you need to interact with a defender to use that ability. You know, that's where I've always thought jukebox was far superior than as we're in the second quarter already, and, you know, Ghost had a one-play touchdown pretty much, and we're still taking some time. Uh, what I was going to say, Jukebox, you need a defender next to you. So for me, uh, I've always thought Armbar was a little more versatile. Not only does it catch bodies one-on-one, -on -one, but you can change direction and change where you're going very quickly with the uh, with the Jukebox. As we see, uh, who's that, Lawrence Taylor making a tackle on Techers? We see more clock running. Not only is the clock running, but... Clint Portis is catching his breath. And if you're a runner, you guys, I know some runners in the chat. I've seen Oreo. 
Uh, and he's in here. You know, you want to keep your running back catching his breath. You don't want your running back out. Of, and then we see the glitch. You know, we talk about pass glitches and all this stuff. Like, what is this, this shit? Can we take this out of the game? Look at my safety. I'm out of here, coach. Now we have super numbers. Palmado gets blocked. Boom, Clint Porter's that end zone. One thing about, as we see, Grant is his fullback. Having Corey Grant at fullback really helps because he's fast enough to get if you have a you know a ten cap fullback, he's not going to get to that block as fast, you know. So having Corey Grant there right there really helps Techers and able to get to Palomalu and uh, uh, get to Palomalu and block him because that's the key. When when you play these defenses, that is your line last line of defense is Palomalu, and Techers made that play. Now I'll be honest, Techers kind of disappointed me on the defensive end of the football. Um, we all know Ghost. I think every time I've played Ghost, I've pretty much got... I don't think I've ever locked Ghost up in any Madden. I don't, I, I don't think it's really the most possible thing to do unless you're Joel. I, I don't care how bad Joel is at Madden and how good Ghost is at Madden. I would probably always bet on Joel. You know, just... I feel like this is just a mental thing. You know, I feel like Ghost don't like that type of player, you know? Now tell me if you, tell me if I'm wrong or I'm right. And I'm about to, I, as I see, my man Trey is in here with a, with a with a mod and no sub, so I gotta take that mod away, bro. We can't do that in 2020. Yeah. So we see Ghost. He do two completions right there, two completions, and you know now we're sitting at third down. And this is Ghost's probably favorite play. One play we have not seen a lot on the MCS is this formation out of Oakland. With this comeback or this little deep ass inside zig route. Really good. Uh, I know Ghost likes route technician on his Tory Holt. I, I mean, one of the few guys to use route technician. Um, pretty nuts. I mean, Ghost is using a real finesse offense, you know. Real finesse as we see Big Cox get into the quarterback. But here we go, Ghost snap throwing the ball. He has seven completions for 95 yards. It means you're getting about 12 yards of pop, which is, and that's that on top of that is with about a 60 yard touchdown. You know, so just, just taking a note about how slow Ghost is moving as we already hit the two minute warning. And the one thing about Tecker's drive. With this 40 second play clock, as much as it seems like Ghost is playing really good, but he is up against the clock because we are under two minutes. Every little two yard completion and four, five, six yard completion that Ghost throws, the clock will run. Although that's a laser, but he gets he gets hit and bounced. So the clock is going to run. He's going to run off 20 seconds here. You know. Once again, Ghost running back wheel, something he hit all game. He hit this running back wheel all game. As we see, Ghost is running out of time. So we're sitting here, we're at 37 seconds and two timeouts for the Ghost man, going to a little bit of run. Uh, I'm pretty sure, looking back, he'd probably rather just be in his passing set. But you know, anytime you can go ahead and try to get a little pop, a little run, that's always a good thing. Uh, did not work for him there. He has this boat, Jackson. Uh, looking back, man, goals maybe. I don't know why he went boat, Jackson. Did not really run the ball that much in this game. Uh, as he's draw right here, this is when he said he should have scored, but he didn't score. Did not get in the end zone. Tough. Now, I'll tell you what. I don't know what cap Bo Jackson is, but I would be furious that Bo Jackson didn't fight for this. So he calls timeout. So he got 26 seconds. That's pretty That's pretty nuts. Do you have the balls to run here? I think you do run and spike the ball instantly. That's what he does. Palomalu blows it up. He probably spikes. 13 seconds. So that's pretty nuts that you get this Bo Jackson does not fight into the end zone for you. Um... So now to play here, you don't, you can't run. You cannot run unless you really drop your nuts. Does anybody in the chat run here? That's my question I have for you guys. Uh, Techers is getting the ball out of halftime. I think it's pretty much impossible to run unless you really drop your nuts. Right here, bang! I felt like he do this a little bit late, and I felt like this is a bad throw too. 
But he says it. He says it after he throws this. Is that I should have smart routed it because it hits the back of the end zone and kind of dumbs out. You know. As you see, hit, as soon as he throws, it hits the back of the end zone, dumbs out. If he would have smart routed it, definitely would have went to the end zone. But I feel like in this situation, in man coverage, it's kind of got to be your first read. Ghost was a little bit late, but if he smart routes it, a touchdown. So he cost himself four points right there, man. Yeah, I'm really not. Jay Bird isn't a, exactly a must-watch TV for me. I don't know about you guys. You got Jay Bird might be must-watch for you guys. So we had... We had pretty much a drive, two drives and a half. No, he didn't smart route it. He definitely should have. He should have made it sharper. He should have been ready to throw that shit right away. But so we had a we had two drives and like a half a drive. You know, and now we're back with the Tecker show, which is, you know, live steed chill. Let's flip a run, try to bop a stretch. Ghost stop that from happening. Good for Ghost. Proud of him. We're going to back stretch left or stretch right. Juke one person, get a couple yards. I mean, and look how much time it just ticks off the clock. Clinton Portis, by the time he runs this play, Clinton Portis is going to be healthy. Gets three yards. Look, uh, another, we're already a minute and 30 gone. Big tackle here. Ghost getting hype. He goes to a knee slap instead of the titty slap. Different ghost this year, chat. It's a different ghost. I don't know. I think he should have stuck with the titty slap. The knee slap is not the same ghost, you know. So we get to a fourth and four. Tackers, the one thing about Tackers, I will tell you, man, both in this game and the Banks game, Every single time he needed a dot, he cooked the dot up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that wasn't hype. Okay, Techers uses a timeout. Definitely worth a timeout right here. Okay, so my man Spoto says he got to save the titty slap for a bigger moment. You know? Jack, you're right, man. And there's always a place for the run. You know, the run is good. Nothing wrong with the run. The problem is these are not 15-minute quarter games. So, uh, we motion out the running back. Now, I will tell you this, guys, chat. Not a fan of the motion out the running back. Why am I not a fan of motion out the running back? Chat, I want you guys to tell me why I don't like motion out the running back. Why don't I like it? Because as Ghost, before this play, Ghost is sitting here, right? You got to be afraid of the run. You know? Yes, it makes it an obvious passing situation. Yes, exactly. You can no longer pat run. But he's got a low ball to the right. And he's got a hitch to the left. Nice throw. Nothing wrong with that. That was a nice read. Just a quick pass. Go sends everybody. Has to guard Tyreek Hill. Snap throw. If you guys haven't been throwing hitches this year, you, you are behind. Another run, and look where we're at. We're halfway through this third quarter. You know, we're halfway through the third quarter. We're still running the ball. Get to a third down. Get to a third and eight. And here we go. This is like, as a defensive player, you are salivating. I got Techers, the runner, into a third and eight. Yes, please. Ghost with a Bobo 3-4 right here. Um, the show blitz version doesn't blitz gets him to throw a drag Clint Portis big tackle by Peppers no titty slap it's still not a titty slap moment and this is where you start saying to yourself is Ghost really locked in you know is Ghost really locked in no titty slap and we see Techers again he has Clinton Portis at wide receiver. I like that. Doesn't blitz again, the ghost man. Great throw by Techers. Good click on two, man. Just an underrated play. I thought he'd do this early. I thought he had enough time. He has all day. Didn't know if it was going to be complete. One thing I hate about this Jabril Peppers, man, compared to Dawkins, can't get it done out there. Yeah, the swerve was really good on this play. Um, I think it took the angle a little bit different from Dante Hall. 
So that was a big laser. But I'll tell you, man, Ghost goes with double flats on the left. Let's see what Ghost goes. Double flats on the left. This is one thing they always talk about. Ghost is... The one thing... Listen. The one thing about Bunch, it cannot fucking block this. It can't. Send them fuckers, dude. It's fourth and four. You're playing a runner. Send them dogs, man. And Ghost sends four people and has no deep blue over there. Now, I will tell you. This is... His defense... <laughs> His secondary is in a six-man blitz defense. His linebackers did not. This was a miscommunication on the on the defense's part. This guy thinks we're blitzing six. This guy thinks we're blitzing six. Linebackers did not get the proper call from the defense. They are dropping into a yellow zone over the middle. You know, in a hard flat. So we have two flats, a yellow zone, a half, and manned up. You know? GG's. Great throw. Way to keep that route on the field. It is definitely tough, chat, for anybody to see this look at the line and keep that deep post. Because <clears throat> this is what I say. When the play breaks down, if he blitzes, what does Tecker's throw if he blitzes all six of these people? Snap in route or snap or snap uh, whip route? You know what I'm saying, Chad? It was tough. It was tough. Tough route combo for for the blitz. But like I said, we're already um we're already third quarter is pretty much already done. You know, it's one minute left in the third quarter. We'll see Ghost back into action here. But he's just throwing. Ghost is just peppering. Look, I mean, Ghost Ghost is a ten yard dot specialist. Here we go to Tyreek Hill. Tackle him. 11 completions for 140 yards. Everybody knows how to block 3-4 except the best the best passers in the world. Ghost didn't blitz him one time. Anyway, I'm done talking about 3-4. Here we go. Big laser over there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ghost is lasering. Like I said, this was really impressive for Ghost as Bo Jackson gets in the end zone. Really impressive for Ghost to be able to play like this without a mobile quarterback. He was really well prepared against 3-4. And when exactly, as we see Tucker, is he going to mix in a little dot right here? This was his favorite dot. This is a nice little sneaky play. He didn't flirt. He didn't flirt with... Look, because the one thing about these plays, right, Chet, as we see this play breaking down, he's going to have the corner route. He's going to have the post, more than likely. But he didn't even flirt to wait for those. If he had this, he took it right away. Right away, he took it every time. So that play was really good. Uh, he used that a lot, honestly. Probably his favorite. And this is where we see Troy Palomalu. Whoop! Just right by him to the touchdown. So, but if you ask Ghost, he would take this position pause. Being down four points with three minutes left, which is actually a, a, lo a long time. But the way Ghost plays, ah, it's not that long. Pause. Because here we go, man. You got to take the hitch. Hitch gets you six yards. That takes another 20 seconds off the plot, off the clock. You know what I'm saying? So for me, oh, Ghost Audible and flipping around. He likes all these looks. Motion blocks the 3 4. Going to have all day. Nice dot. Just pick up the first down. We'll come back to that play pretty much the rest of the drive as we get to the two minute warning. Ghost is feeling good, but it's the same situation as it was early in the game before. Ghost had two drives in the two minute warning, man. Throws the ball away. Whereas when we look here, if you have <laughs> able to get out the pocket with a skate artist, might be able to hit one of them corner routes deep down the field.
Goes with the motion block, picking it all up, throwing the knee. Can't let him get outside. There we go with the tackle from Techers. That's going to take what off the clock? That's going to take 30 seconds off the clock. Look at Ghost still flipping around. If I'm Techers, I'm super happy. I say, go ahead, Ghost. Have fun, buddy. Motion blocks. Blitzes everybody again. All day. What? I mean, this was like, I feel like he do this super late, but gets a perfect animation on the sideline. Tyreek Hill. Boom. Catches it. Gets out of bounds. Stops the clock. Boom. You know, but for me, if anything's going in the middle of the field like it is here, Ghost is going to have to use a timeout. Gets into his timeouts. I mean, did they really show this whole play in this view? Jeez. I will tell you what, Fletcher Cox for Techers, I'd be a little upset about Fletcher, Fletcher Cox, honestly. Did not have the impact I would want him to have if I was Techers. Techers goes back to this, just this cover three. Really basic. Huge dot from goes here. What the hell was this? A fade stop, I guess? Jeez. A curl route for about 20 yards, 18 yards? Jeez. I mean, he had to keep blocking the wide receiver rush because um, if he would have got screamed at and sacked, the drive would be over. He has to play super safe. And that's one thing about the best offenses have really good max protection plays as we see the running back out on a route. Ghost hanging in the pocket. Boom. Throws the ball to Tyreek Hill. Doesn't get a catch right there. I think Ghost Rat caught this. No, possession caught. Damn, Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill definitely shit the bed right there. Um, did not get a dive and catch. That would have been huge. That would have probably been ball game if he got that close to the end zone with 50 seconds left. Definitely Bo Jackson time right there. Um, as we see a three-man rush, Phillip Rivers taking off. Let's see if he uses his last time out. No, he's going to no huddle. Really tough up against the time now, man. Like, this time just flies. We see the running back again. Dot to, I think you got to use your timeout. 23 seconds left for Ghost. Now, Ghost, man, I'll tell you. He, how many times have we seen him throw to the running back? Now, you got to think, Techers. One thing I would never show that I'm on the linebacker. I would kind of, like, hide that. Because when you're on the linebacker, you know they're not blitzing everybody. Running back, Tutty. Fires that right there. Uh, no matter what, this was a pick. As you see here, man, like this wasn't the this wasn't the best ghost route combo. You know what I'm saying we go slant right back to the curl. He's lurking the whole middle of the field. Running back, hit RB, go home with a touch. He was afraid about if he hits it early with this possession catch. Sometimes <clears throat> You might throw this early, and he'll get, like, a possession catch on the one-yard line. Like, if you hit it right there. But I think he scores on this, chat. What do you guys think? Um, I think he scores on this if he hits that, but he throws to the middle. Gets picked off the spy. Would have been picked off by Telvin Smith, I believe, anyway. And Techers wins the game. I mean, that's, that's pretty much how it went. Like I said, I, it, it would have been a tough throw. I think Ghost played perfect. I think he played great. Uh, just made a bad read at the end, you know, and it's really hard to play pause with uh, Phillip Rivers that long you know, or that the Phillip Rivers that way. You know, it's tough to pass like that. You got to play perfect. You have to make the right reads. It's such a short game. As you see, time clock goes twice. He had two two-minute drives, came away with only three points. That's the difference in the game. That's why he wound up losing. Palomalo also got juked. Uh, if you're going to play one safety high, uh, you better hope that safety is Superman. You know, and Palomalu shit the bed for Ghost a couple times. Uh, he had to play perfect, you know, and he, he played pretty good. Was actually impressed with the way he played. Uh, but one person I was not impressed with over the weekend was my man Master Gaming Room. Not impressed. Not impressed at all by Master Gamer, bro. Now I'll tell you guys. Like. Master Gamer is somebody that comes off as somebody that knows everything about Madden. 
right? Master comes off of like he he is the character that you know labs all day. He's the lab rat type. I know every playbook. I know every audible. I know every formation. That type of person. Does that person not come? Does he not come off as that person? You know, like he knows more than you about Madden. And that's cool. Like for me, for me, um, I don't know shit about men. I, I I I don't know half the shit these dudes know. Like angles and you know pursuit and you know stretch runs and like, I, he is that. Okay, I'm just saying. Like for me, that is his that is his aura. That this man is he knows more than anybody. He's the ultimate geek. Yes, right. Which is cool. Every workplace has a place for the ultimate geek. That's fine. I'm saying? Now this person, Matt, comes off as the ultimate geek. Now we know Matt. I believe he lost to Blocky the last couple Dolphins clubs, right? Yes. Matt Matt will tell you that he's the greatest Madden player ever. I mean, the one thing about Madden... Let me tell you guys this shit, chat. I've been playing the NBA 2K Combine. And it's a shit show. You have to go out there with a bunch of randoms and try to ball out. You do. That's what you have to do. Right? You, you're throwing it. You got to make the best of your circumstance. Madden, we don't have that. You load up and you play. You prove yourself on the field. You know, that's what you do. Some of us have done well. Some of us have done shitty. Some of us have, some of us have done okay. Some of us have not done anything. You know, uh, and, and, you know, there's no place. So my point is, you get to prove all this stuff. You don't get to talk about it. Talking about it doesn't matter. You know, predicting shit doesn't matter. Being the smartest person in the room doesn't matter. That shit doesn't matter. Labbing in practice mode doesn't matter. Knowing every play doesn't matter. Being cuter than the next guy doesn't matter. Motioning out Deshaun Jackson on an angle route not doesn't fucking matter. It's not cute. You're not smarter than anybody. None of that matters. It's about how you perform on the virtual gridiron. You know what I'm saying? You get the chance to prove yourself to everybody. Every single year. Multiple times. You get a chance to prove people. So, Matt has lost to Blocky. Blocky, one of the top ten players in the MCS era. Probably. We would all agree with that. We would all agree. Blocky's great. You know what I'm saying? Now... For me, as we're going to watch this last drive for Blocky, right? None of that stuff matters. That's what I'm saying. None of that matters. None of these things matter. So, Master has lost to Blocky. Master has lost to Blocky how many times? Two times in a club series now? Now, you have to realize, competition isn't always about... Competition isn't always about X's and O's, man. It's really not. You know, we have to understand there's things that go along with competing, you know, and, and of this nature that aren't necessarily, you know, about knowing the best plays and everything. Sometimes it's about battling mental things, you know, and allowing mental things to hold you back. You know, and I really think that Matt can teach us all the lesson about that as we see Blocky. Blocky, who was really cute, he had a nice little bunch chat. Yeah, like... Uh, he was spinning a spy with Lamar Jackson, which I thought was really cool. You know, I remember texting Skimbo in the game like, yo, this is cool. You got to learn how to do this. He's tough. And Skimbo said, ha, ha, ha. Nope. And I didn't believe him. I really thought this guy was tough. I thought this rollout, or I thought this guy, Lamar Jackson, as he shits the bet on that throw, you know, I really thought this guy was going to be tough. But after I saw Lamar Jackson just sell the bag, for my man Blocky, I, I realized it's not about that. You know, it's about the guy that can make the throws. Another one, shit in the bed. Boom, third and three. Master knows everything. He look, I, I knew he was going to overthrow that because Lamar Jackson has cleats that are size 14, and when he runs and he throws to the right, if he doesn't reach the hash mark, he's going to get a bad throw. So I knew that. That's why I played that defense. That's something he would say. Am I lying, chat? That is something Matt would say. I will it. Matt played great defense. He did. 
You see a dot right there that turned into a fumble. Actually, might have been a pick. Take it to the house. Matt has won the game. The game is over. Matt has beat Blocky. This was Matt's. This was his hurdle. We all have hurdles, right, Chet? His stamina, yeah, that's something said. When his stamina reaches under 87, he's not going to make the same throws. You know, I lab that. That's We lab that in practice mode. I knew if I could make sure Lamar was tired, Blocky wouldn't have a good chance of passing the ball. You know, that's something Matt would say. You know what I'm saying? So, we all have hurdles, right, Chet? Now, I don't know what hurdles you guys have. I don't know. You know, think about competition, whether you're playing high school football, whether you're playing... And Blocky has to throw this. He has to give himself a shot to win the game. Yeah, it is what it is. But that's my point. So think about when you played high school football, your biggest rival, the person that always kicked your, the person that always kicked your ass and you kicked your school's ass. Look at, look at Master Gamer. Listen, don't ever fucking talk to me while you're winning the game ever in my fucking life. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Don't look. This, don't fucking ever do that shit. Ever. Ever, ever, ever do that shit. Ever. Don't lean like this. No. Don't talk to me. I don't care if you're my friend. I don't care if you're my mother. Do not talk to me like that. No. I am sick. Not in, not only am I sick that I lost, I'm sick that I lost because my quarterback shit the bed. I am furious. Do not lean over and try to be my friend. No, just take your win, be a winner. That's all. As we see the clock run out, Blocky's sick. I'm nursing, but bro, no man that does this wins fucking Madden games. We have never seen somebody do this. Bro. You did not win anything. This is... What round is this, Chet? 128 of a tournament. This is round 128 of a tournament. You did not win a belt. You did not win $10,000. You did not win... What? What did you win? Uh, $3,000? This is the dance. Meanwhile, my man Blocky over to sick because his quarterback just smoked the game. Bruh. Now he, the game's not even over. This is how Mass be. You know, that hard flat really played that playmaker good. You know, yeah, I put a hard flat there. You know, I really stopped it. You know, I labbed that if I my slot's in a hard flat, he'll cover the whip route. You know, yeah, that was, I labbed that, yeah. Bro, like, cuz, like. So my man does the walk off the jaunt. Now he went back. What are we doing here? Bro. You make a decision, fellas. Make your decision. Now, oh, no, I can't go out here yet. Oh, I'm going to walk back. Make your decision and, and live with it, chat. All right, let me tell you something. Make a decision and live with it. I just want to see the highlights of, of just a runner running. A runner running. Yes, yay, yay. Again, good spin move right there by Clinton Porter, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, I know I would hit stick that guy. Yep, yep, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew. John Ross hit the bet. I mean, that's a good play by Denzel Ward. I'm not mad about that play. But then we get this shit. Uh, let me tell you something. So, let we get to, we get to, um, let me, let, come here, come here. Like, so, all right, so, listen, listen, all right. So, Master has lost to this person two years in a row, right? Or anyway, Blackie has been really good Dolphins club champ two years in a row, right? Right? Now, 
you look at this person as this is my hurdle. This is what's been holding me back. This is the person I need to beat. This is the whole thing for me because this person has beat me. You know, at some point you have to realize that this is round 128. You know, regardless whether you win, lose, or draw, like, you really haven't done anything yet. And to make, and essentially in his mind, and it happens to a lot of people, I feel like it happened to me. You know, and this is why I can relate. And it's so much easier watching somebody else be a, be an idiot as opposed to myself. After I beat Figgy, I thought Figgy was the only person with eyes. The only person I had to worry about. You know, and a part of me kind of just relaxed and just, just kind of counted your money already. I already did this shit. Not to this level, but mentally you have that feeling. Like, I feel like every competitor does that. When you beat the, you know, your biggest opponent or your most dangerous opponent, you always have a letdown mentally. You know, you don't have to believe it yourself and literally say it, though. You know, it's always going to be something natural. It's going to be, it's just ebbs and flows of competition. You see it happen in the NFL all the time. You see a team pop up and beat one of the best teams in the league and then lose to a shitter team the next week. It's, it's kind of just emotion, and it, it's just natural. You know, but for him to say this interview was nuts. The game or, yeah, I guess that's what happened when you were in Florida. You played for the Miami Dolphins, things like that. Congratulations on making it to the finals. Uh, you are a guy who is really one of the, I think, uh, iconic preparers, so to speak, as far as how you actually approach the game of Madden. What kind of prep went into being so ready for this matchup against the defending champ? I mean... Even though a lot of people, Rundy. Rundy's the thing. I mean, you've seen it. We've seen it today. We've seen it last week. Uh, Rundy's the best. So we Being got that modest, of course, yeah. It, not even. Yeah. It's it's the best. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I had a few different defensive game plans. You saw from the start of the game, I was in that 3-4 odd mm. uh, blitz. We played well against it. A lot of times, my game plan going in was a lot of times people don't know how to play against that in the first game, seeing it. He started off well. I wasn't going to try and mess with it. He threw the touchdown. I got out of it. Went to my secondary game plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just that straightforward. Once he started throwing the zigs, I kind of just do it. Called a lot more match, so he couldn't just playmaker and get those free yards. Outside of that, it was pretty straightforward. Just make sure go between palms and cover two, so he couldn't just get the free stuff and just take away the bomb. Well, you have a lot of uh, confidence, obviously, but I think you also one thing I noticed is high expectations for yourself. Yeah. You obviously want to win this final. You're one step away, but how does even not from preparation, but your mentality? Uh, have to shift in order to know that you've got to come here and take down a champ and now go ahead and do it again right afterwards. I mean, that was the game I'm worried about. That's the reality of it. Play. That was it. Right there. Boom. Say it again, chat. You also, one thing I noticed is high expectations for yourself. Yeah. You obviously want to win this final. You're one step away, but how does even, not from preparation, but your mentality uh, have to shift in order to know that you've got to come here and take down a champ and now go ahead and do it again right afterwards? I mean, that was the game I'm worried about. That's the reality of it. I'm going to play uh, Z Thumbs next. And uh, me and Blocky had talked after online to kind of get some kind of scouting going on for uh, both of our opponents. I don't, either of us won, so I kind of know what he's doing. I mean, obviously, watch the game. So, yeah. Uh, it's very convenient that I sell that game because there was one thing that I had to find recently and adjust the run D. <laughs> Get a step, we're good. So he seems ready to go for it. Oh, you motherfuckers in your ads. Bro, well, there's one thing. Bro, my man said. <laughs> my man said, well, you know, it was very convenient that I watched that game and I was able to find one thing I had to adjust you know once I figured that out you know I'll be, I'll be okay meanwhile right, I can't got we were fucking doors that, blown that off scoop and score at the very end as well yeah I, I didn't know I wasn't sure if that was an ink forget a step it's very oh uh, me and Blocky had talked take down a champ and now go ahead and do it again right afterwards I mean that was the game I'm worried about that's the reality of it you know play uh uh, have to shift bro, in order to know that nuts, you've got to come bro. here and take down a champ and now go ahead and do it again right afterwards. I mean, that was the game I'm worried about. That's the reality of it. I'm going to play uh, Z Thumbs next. And, uh, me and Blocky had talked after online to kind of get some kind of scouting going on 
for uh, both of our opponents. I don't, either of us won, so I kind of know what he's doing. I mean, I've Look at the game, Matt so, facial yeah. expressions uh, are nuts. It's very convenient that I sell that game because there was one thing that I had to find recently and adjust the Rundy to fix it for what he's doing. Uh, so it should be fine, though. So, as long as something, unless I forget a step, we're good. So he seems ready to go for it. But one thing I think we weren't expecting was that, that scoop and score at the very end as well. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I wasn't sure if that was an incomplete, and I'd caught it. Field uh, on one. That was stupid of me. But uh, I knew I was getting ball at half, so it wasn't the biggest deal. A uh, very analytical mind. Of course, it's a big win, man. You can't deny it. Absolutely. Lockies in over the 100,000 club as well. You've got 26,000 in earnings, but hoping yep. to be more. How would you rank this win as far as career wins for, for Master Gamer? Uh, just another one. Just another one. All right, what about the next? So my man, next one, that's about 4,000 more than another one. Okay, we'll so just it's keep going up. It's just a numbers game, mathematical mind. As it goes up, it'll, it'll, it'll go up. be a little bit. Oh, that shit ain't go up. That shit ain't go up. My man went from saying, bruh, that was the game I was worried about to it's just another win. Bruh, like, I'm telling you, man, sometimes you can lose a game before you play it, man. You know, and one thing we've learned, man, 20 man, everybody is good, everybody is smart. You are not the only motherfucker with practice mode. That's it. Realize it. You know what I'm saying? You are not the only person that, you know, if I if I flip my 3-4 odd and I put my purple zone on my inside linebacker and move him over his head over top of the center three feet and then I make sure that the wind is blowing at six miles an hour, the running back can't run as fast if the wind is blowing in his face and I'll be able to tackle him with my 90 speed corner. But if I have an 89 speed corner, he won't block shit as well. Bro, you're not the only one that has the game. Seriously, like you think, like one thing we gotta realize, man. Everybody's playing the shit out of the game. Seriously, yo, like for real, like everybody's playing the game, bro. And you can lose a game, you can lose a game before you play it, you know. And you can underestimate people so easily now, man. And and I don't think nobody. How do I feel about the new nickel triple formation? I don't give a shit about the new nickel triple formation. You know what it's going to be, buddy? You know what it's going to be? It's going to be blitz that guy, blitz that guy, put a contain, bring your safeties in the box, hover over the center, and say, I hope it gets in. That's what it's going to be. Doesn't matter if it's nickel triple, nickel four, nickel five, dime seven, quarter 16, three, four, flipped, shift, master gamer's favorite. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the same shit. There's not a blitz in the game that works. Every blitz is just send everybody. Like, come on, chat. Let's relax. Now, here we go. But anyway, back to Master Gamer. It's just, for someone with... I don't know who the hell is piping this person up to have just this this arrogance like this. Bro, like, I, for me, I, I would say Master Gamer might be the most arrogant man player. Who is, who is like, seriously, who... Who would, like, thinks they know more than, than Master Gamer? Seriously. Like, who would, that, seriously, like, when we think about all the man players. Like, I, honestly, I see Mo. I see Skimbo. Mo's a pretty cocky asshole. But Mo is top five of all time. Well, on anybody's list. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if, if, if serious Mo... You know what I'm saying? If he's cocky, it's like, all right, asshole. But you can see, like, okay, right? Even Joke. Joke is an asshole, too. But Joke has pedigree. Nobody can clown Joke's pedigree. You know what I'm saying? No, Clef, Clef is nothing like... I, I, Clef is nothing like this, bro. No, this is different. This is different. From a player that, honestly, is not that fucking good. No. No. Matt not good enough to say, that was the game. Honest, that's the reality of it. Any motherfucker that says the reality of it, no. You're not good enough to say the reality of it. No, you're not. You're not. The other thing about Matt. Everything that, listen, now you guys have watched Matt play. We all watch Madden, right? Everything that goes bad for this person. Every play that's an obvious ass play for us. This man has a look on his face like, like an alien just came down. 
Like an alien came down into the middle of the yard. I threw a pick? I threw a pick? That didn't happen in practice mode. Every play, chat, every time something bad happens, he looks like, bro, he, I'm telling you. Oh, the dance? Oh, my God. Chat, every time something bad happens, you guys have watched Master play. Every time something bad, my calculations were off. How did that run work? Now, this, I want to watch, I want to sit here and watch this whole game and watch this asshole just look like a fool. I like laughing at people. I'm telling you, it's going to be funny. Would you guys like to come along for the ride? Because I'm in the mood to laugh. This will be funny. <laughs> Shout out to my man Zito. Now, I will tell you, all jokes aside, chat, I, I can't lie. I think I played Z Thumbs maybe once or twice in my life. I'm be real. When my man came up here and threw a pick, I really was like, damn, Master Gamer might have won an important Madden game. Because it takes a lot of it takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of balls, or it takes a lot of. Uh, It's not that it takes a lot of balls. It takes no. It takes a lot of balls. If you throw a pick six, this is the biggest game he's ever played. You know, this is by far the biggest game. Now, I mean, a bunch wide is a little wild. You know, Master is like, yeah, I just, I just man aligns, make sure my purple zone is lined up with my flat zone. He sits here and he fires this pick, and he fires a pick six. You know, he fire and he puts his head down. Look at Master, and he does this dance. Look at this dance. This ain't a regular dance. It's not. This is not a regular. This is not a regular human dancing. It's not. It, this. I mean, this just can't be it. Yes, Mo. And so, you, a person that's played man, it's tough as shit to throw a pick six on the first drive of the biggest game of your life and win. Yes, we're all thinking this Z thumbs do. Yeah, he done. He's cooked. Right? He's cooked. He's cooked. Honestly, my man said that was a Fortnite dance. Just fire the pick at Seymour. 14 cap, God. Okay, a run to Dalvin Cook. Okay, best run defense of all time. Look, T tap your chest. That's me. That's me. Matt always do that too. No, it's not the game fault. I know what I'm doing. I know what to do. Bro, this shit is this. I'm looking at Z Thumbs, making sure his running back catches breath. What? Okay, okay. Tap his. Look at his face. Look, look, look. Oh, look at a four yard run. He's like, no, this is fluky. Yo, this is too funny. I'm telling you, everything that happens bad against him, he has a dumbass face. Like, he's confused. Like, bro, it's football. Put the ball out there and play. Look at Matt's face. <coughs> look, he's looking at his controller. <laughs> God forbid he's just fucking you up. Like, God forbid. The lab ain't working right now. God forbid. Practice mode ain't translating. Practice mode is not translating. Look at my man's seat thumbs. Just out here freestyling some dots. Got the double curls. Oh, yeah. Skate artist the spy. Yup. Glitchy. Glitchy. Get that get that 69 overall out of here. Look at Matt. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh. What is happening? Oh, strong eye. Uh-oh. Look at it. I'm ready for Matt's face after this one. Look. Look at this face. telling you I'm telling you dude this is just 
pure comedy. Best run defense ever. Huh? What? What? The game not practice more. Huh? My, oh, what? Yeah, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Eh. No. But that, that that was a big drive, dude. It really was. Because now Z Thumbs was... He, was, he wasn't flooded. But man, he had his feet in the water, chat. Yeah, listen, he had his feet in the water. Bro, Mo, Skimbo different now, bro. He different. Skimbo corny. It's like, bro. Here we go with Matzer Gamers. High prolific. <laughs> Peyton Manning. You think about just a fucking idiot. Like, bro, sometimes, chat, well, sometimes you got to realize, sometimes you got to realize this, chat. Sometimes you got to you're not smarter than all these guys. You're not, you're not the only person that thinks Peyton Manning's the best quarterback. You're not the only person that think that. You know what I mean? Or you're not the only person that tried Peyton Manning. You're not out thinking anybody. It's a reason there's nobody else with Peyton Manning. Zach, what's, what's going on? Well, Yo, like, I just, like, make Phillip Rivers your quarterback. Box. Let's go, Z-Thumbs. Look, look at Matt's face. Hold on, wait. He ran on third and 12. Look. Oh, no. What happened? My stretch on third and 12 didn't work. Oh, no. Oh, no. My stretch on third and 12 didn't work. I'm so fucking good. That reality of it. The reality of it. I called stretch on third and 12, and it didn't work. It didn't work. Fucking kidding me, dude. Let's go. Let's see some more. Let me see. Let me see some more pounding right here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see some more pounding. Look at me. Yup. Yup. Let's see some more pounding, baby. Let's see the Z thumbs. Let's see the thumbs going deep. Let's see them pounding that thing. Yup. <laughs> Let's see it. Best run defense ever. Oh, there's no question about it. That's a fact. My best run defense ever. Look. No, he's looking at his controller, bro. I'm telling you. Man, he ain't comfortable no more. He's in the jungle now. The reality of it. Chat, the reality of it. That's the reality of it. You're in the jungle now, baby. Okay. Yup. Yup. Pound that. Mm-hmm. Yup. Put them thumbs deeper. Look, look. <laughs> look at me. I just I don't know I don't know. look hmm hmm in practice mode when I when I use a linebacker and put it purple and I you know I shifted my line left and guarded, you know it didn't work I don't know what I gotta do next put them thumbs deeper yep let's come out here with our stretches come on the master gamer high prolific offense here bro Payne Manning drops back. Oh, he actually got a laser right there to prove it. Stop and go, God. Up another dive from Master Gamer. I'll tell you what, it looks like Z Thumbs got the best run defense. I'm going to hit up Z Thumbs and be like, bro, what's your run defense? Because that Master Gamer shit was looking sleep. Uh oh. This is one thing, man. Master Game is a runner, bro. The one thing I love about runners, I love the real runners. I love the runners that are from the mud. I like the users. I like the beast mode max. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are runners. You know what I'm saying? That don't flirt. That don't try to flirt like they're passers. Don't try to think they can pass. Nah. I like the runners. Give me the jukebox. Give me the arm bar. Give me the nasty streak. Let's stop thinking we can pass. Let's be the runners. I like the Trey Kings. I like the Volterrax. As we see Master Gamer, what's he do after that? Okay. Yep, that's how my offense works in practice mode. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. What do I got to do on defense? Yeah, well, they, 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 they real. Jay Bird, you the fakest runner out. Jay Bird went there with quarterback pass. Jay Bird went out there with a hot route master to put a fucking wheel on his running back in the out route. Jay Bird should have had five arm bars 
and, and two Joe Thomases. No, it's over, Beast Mode. Donnie, they passed him today. It's over. The Beast Mode run was good. Dudes, the dudes, try, dudes are overthinking the shit, man. That's why I like I like these guys. I like the real runners, man. I respect the real runner. My man Jess Steele told me, Bo follows Joe. That's what he said. I respect Jess Steele. Jess Steele is ass, but I respect him because he stays true to the run. Okay, that's right. Put them thumbs deeper, baby. Put them thumbs deeper, baby. Now, I'll be honest, man. I don't know if there's a person that was rooting for Master Gamer. Okay, now, look at his face. Yeah, yeah, now my run D's working. Look. Yeah, okay, that's what I need to do. My purple was on my other linebacker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Master Gamer, definitely the rolling backpack type. I had to put my purple zone on my other linebacker. Here we go. Who, who's he, who, where's the thumb going deeper now? Where's this thumb hitting right now, boys? Okay, Andrew Luck. Big laser. Yep. Look at Matt. Ah, ah. Looks like he had to shit. Look. Ah. Big dots. That's why you get a mobile quarterback, man. You're not out there with Phillip Rivers. Tell him, Z Thumbs, you don't need nothing cute. Slant in route. Slant in route hits. You don't need anything cute. See you later, buddy. Pound it. Put them thumbs deeper, baby. Now, honestly, as a as a as a fan of sports, as a fan of competition, when you hear Master Gamer say, and the reality of it, that was the only game that mattered, you naturally, naturally become a fan of the underdog, right? Do you not naturally start rooting for the guy he said had no shot? Naturally, as a person that watches sports, do you not root for that person? Oh, yeah, dickhead. Yup. 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 What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did all my purple zones, but I forgot that. I baseline pressed like a fucking bazooka. Bazooka alert. And look at Z Thumbs. Putting that thumb deeper, baby. Damn. The computer, the, the quarterback in practice mode doesn't, doesn't fucking beat your baseline press. And we talk about these slow paced offense. I don't know if Matt gets any points here. Just still running, dude. Just run, run, run. Please, game. Please, fucking game. Please, game. Give me a touchdown. Please, game. Give me a touchdown. I have the second best quarterback of all time. Third and three stretch. No, what happened? No, watch his face. No, no, what? No. Listen, we, we can't do a quarterback. We're not going to talk about chat, YouTube. We're not talking about quarterbacks, quarterback ever. That's, yep, Z Thumbs definitely just got cheated for three right there. Matt with the dumbest call of his fucking life. Like, all this practice mode shit, we talk, we laughing at this, this asshole, right? We're just laughing at him, right? Ha, 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 ha. Matt's so prepared. Matt's so... Tell me why I call this in four seconds and not one second. What? What? Why four seconds? Mr. Labrat, why four seconds? Only thing bad could happen. Only bad shit could happen. One second? Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. Makes sense. IQ of a kangaroo. That's right, long hair. The IQ of a kangaroo. And definitely got cheated. I like that. I like that long hair. I like that. IQ of a kangaroo. Mr. Practice Mode. Look, this is the look, 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 look. This is the face of a defeated man. Damn. It ain't the reality now, huh? It ain't the reality now, huh? It ain't the reality now, huh? That's the face of a man in the jungle. That's the face of the man in the jungle right there, boys. Oh, shit. 
Yeah. Damn, Mo, he got lucky as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the face when you get a couple Z thumbs up your asshole right there. That's a couple Z thumbs up the asshole right there, boys. That's what that is. Best Rendy. Oh, there is no, there is nothing. It is the best. The best. Couple Z thumbs up the asshole later. Here go my man, my man Be Easy. What's his name, boys? What's what's Be Easy's name? I know y'all know his first name. I can't just be calling him the Be Easy guy. The greatest show on turf. Master Gamers fucking stretch and dive. Look, look at Matt's face. Look. Huh? What? He played that? What? Look, this this was the main one I remember. Yo, this dude got to hate the face. I swear to God, he has a hate the face. Look at his face. What? Jalen Ramsey picked that. It was such a good pass by me. Oh, my gosh. My 84th throw power Peyton Manning didn't get it there. Oh, my gosh. Cover four picked it? No way. Not in practice mode? What is this game I'm playing? I got cheated. My beautiful pass play that never gets picked off. I'm telling you, man. Yes, no. No, give me the ball back. Admin, player challenge. Player challenge. Yup, that thumb gets deeper, baby. That 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 thumb gets deeper, baby. Yup, give him some Dalvin. Give him some Dalvin. Give him some Dalvin. Okay. Big dots right here. Touch pass, baby. We don't see the touch pass used on the post route that often anymore. Big touch. Look look at his face. Like, how the fuck did that happen? He has a face like, how did that happen? Look at his, like, what? Huh? Brandon Cooks beat, what? Cooks, what? What? How the, what? I got dotted? What? I got lasered? Oh my God. He can lob pass? What? The, the practice mode never does that. That's crazy. That's crazy that he could lob that pass. Every fucking play that goes bad, his just look like, like, bro, how did that happen to me? I'm telling you. He could lob it? No way. The quarterback in practice mode never does that. The thumbs are deeper. He's almost he's almost at the second knuckle of thumbs in the ass right now. Both thumbs. Cause what I'll tell you what is the worst man coverage is I think this is just backed off man coverage, dude. Hey, what are we lurking here too, chat? Oh, I guess we're lurking. I don't know what we're lurking. But that was a laser. Yeah, it doesn't happen in practice mode. That's Master Gamer's face the whole game. Here we go. We're breaking out the dots early. We're down 14. Let's break out my whip routes. Oh, we got a whole three yards. Another stretch. Oh, my gosh. No. The game didn't let me bust stretch for a touchdown. No. Oh, no. I thought we were going to get raised, no huddle. Look at my man Thumbs, man. He got them Thumbs double knuckles. Double knuckle deep, boys. Look at this, Peyton Manning hot rock master. Ooh, that was, that was a little laser. Okay, okay, okay. Best throw of the day. Snap throw out route. We're going, I, I'll tell you what, hey, Thumbs, I hope you're listening, bro. We got to have some run defense, man. Because I heard I heard Master Gamer got the best run defense. Oh, no, that's not. That's, that's a fact. Ah, right, shit. I see these thumbs two, two, two knuckles deep right now. You know what I'm saying? So hit me up. You know what I mean, chat? Oh, yeah, big lasers. Ooh, look. Uh, what? What? That thing is not complete? No, what? 
What? I mean, he did kind of get cheated on that play. Let me stop capping. I mean, Jesus Christ, Matt. Throw the ball somewhere. What? We got to just go for a hit there, kid. We got to take his face off, kid. You got Troy P. We are in the fourth quarter. Matt is up against it. He's breaking out the baby dots. Nice little out route. We got to make Ooh, d -Jack. Ooh, Troy P. Another stretch from Matt. It's their gamer. I mean... Ooh, nice dot over there. Being tackled right there. I think Mo said this too. Like, I swear, this one I'm like, yeah, Mo's on point. That tackle, it seemed like he gonna score anyway, but bro, it, that is a whole minute. Cause what is Matt doing right now, dude? What the fuck are you doing? You better have scored. Bro, I would have ran the quickest <laughs> halfback ISO. Look at where he catch the ball. 355, he catches the ball. I would have ran the fastest snap ISO, snap ISO, snap ISO. Like, bro, you got to be kidding me, dude. But he did get in, so maybe it works. I probably would have wasted time running ISO right into linebackers. But anyway, you got to get a stop here. Here we go. Give him some Dalvin. Okay. Man, got the good run defense now. Okay. He made his adjustment. Second of 14. Ooh, 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 Andrew Luck. Yo, get get a better player in the spot here, chat. All y'all want to talk about speed, right? Y'all don't care about the other ratings. Y'all don't want to care about pursuit, agility, awareness, play recognition. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all want to talk about speed. It's all that matters. I mean, look, this is just old school dots right here. Laser. Look at Matt's face. Look, look. Yo, this is the... I remember this one, too. Like, what Madden have you been playing that Apke comes anywhere near this pass? What? What? I lurked him. No. That's so bad. That's what he said. That's so bad. What? I alert him. I alert Dot. Okay, Matt's fighting. Matt's fighting. Matt's fighting. I didn't that was I didn't think that was close. I'm not trying nothing. I'm just trying to make sure people who stay in their lane, that's all. I'm trying to teach you guys a valuable lesson. And we get picked off by Champ Bailey. Take it to the Baja. Damn. Reality sets in. And we itch our chin. Bro, I didn't think that play was close. I feel like he got lasered. Let me see. He's over here, dude. The ball's doing right here. Ah. Uh, nah. Nah. <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> It's just, bro, I mean, it was close, but I'll tell you what. Oh, I guess he's in man coverage. We're in man coverage across the board here. I, I wouldn't be in man coverage out here at all. I'd, I mean, I guess, man, I've been man over here. If I'm going to blitz everybody, I'd man this guy. I'd put a, a cloud flat, maybe even a hard flat plate of sticks, third and five. 
over here so the flat is just sitting over here. This guy would be in a quarter and he'd be smelling my breath. This safety would be pretty much right where this, like I'm talking this safety would be way closer if I was running this on this third and five for my life. So this pass wasn't an option. Like I would make it so the only thing you can throw is right here, you know. And on top of that, like on, if this guy is in a in a in a deep blue in a quarter right here, like he's he could make this tackle at least. Not that it, I mean it'd be two minute warning, but I'd still be alive. You know, if you put him in man coverage, it's just that's bunch. Like that's just bunch defense. Whether this regular bunch or. or or single back bunch, or bunch tight end, or bunch freaking empty bunch, flat zone quarter blitz everybody on the team. That's just simple bunch defense, you know. And we're in man coverage. Like, what exactly is Dion going to stop on this guy? You might as well put him in a hook curl or something if you want to play this. This is for your life. This is for your life, you know. And they got lasered. But anyway, man, seriously. If he was humble, he would have got the pick. You're right, chat. If he was humble, he would have got the pick. But no, for real, man, I just, there's just. It's certain people, chat, man, that like, it's not certain people. It's just like, bro, you have to always stay on your toes, man. You can't slip up. You can't think you're better than anybody. You can't think that, you know, somebody isn't as good as you. You know, you, ha you can't think that you know more than other people. You know, you can't underestimate anybody. You, know? you can't put one person over another. You know, Chad? Uh, yeah, the job is never finished until you're holding a belt. You know, and, and that's it. You know, at the end of the day, whether these club series are happening, man, you have to keep in reality that it is round 128, then it was, it was round 64. You know, it's just different rounds in the tournament, really. Uh, I know that game was big for Matt to be blocky. That's his little obstacle. But to have you can't overlook anybody and to be that arrogant and then get popped. It was fun for me to watch. As as a fan of sports, as a fan of competing, it was fun for me to watch the arrogant know it all. I'm better than this guy. In the reality of it, the reality of it, guy fucking lose. It was fun. It was fun. That's all. Exactly. Oh, the lab request, bro. I didn't even remember that, bro. My man. No, I don't. Got, I don't have no. No, it's nothing about Matt, bro. X Factor, you gotta tell something. I kill everybody equal. Everybody gets killed. I don't care who it is. I have no problem with Matt. I, first of all, I don't like people that. Nobody likes somebody that thinks they know it all, honestly. You know, that's all. But I don't have any problem with Matt. Matt's a good kid. Just got the humble pie. It's fun watching somebody eat humble pie, chat. Is it not fun watching somebody eat humble pie? When is that not fun? When is that not entertaining? Humble pie is good. That's all. So, yes, I am going to laugh at the man that eats humble pie. One day, I'm going to laugh at Skimbo if he has to eat humble pie. I'm going to laugh at him. I'm going to laugh at Boogs. I killed my best friends in Madden more than anybody else on this podcast. And y'all know that. Boogs and Skimbo get drugged through the mud every show. So it's not about me liking somebody and me not liking somebody. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. All right. Damn, I got to bring that shit back up. I don't know. Sometimes Compton doesn't include... Uh, Oh, Bugs on side, carry team? Nah, listen. When, I, I'm not talking about Bugs playing, losing in a final 64 of a, a race tournament where only 80 people signed up anyway. Like, I'm really not that. I'll talk about Bugs in Atlanta Club Series when he win that. That's when I'll talk. Yes, that's one of my biggest. Bro, I want to fry myself and my friends more than I fry other people. You know what I'm saying? That's important to me. Like, you can't, you can't laugh at other people if you don't laugh at yourself and your friends. The same way. You know, that to me, that's like, that's a, that's a must. You know, chat? Chat.
Stretch, I don't even know who you are. Your name is Halfback Stretch, bro. I want to say you're probably a creep. You, you know you got to play against Blocky <laughs> or Master like Gamer in the fuck. confident in yourself, yeah. but you know who you're playing against. You, you know you got to play against Blocky. <laughs> Now you two thumbs deep right now, chat. This two thumbs deep. Lucky or Master Gamer in the finals, but you came out here and you played a phenomenal game and you devers in the world, Blocky. Or as a Madden player, you're always con. This is a huge. All right, I'll go to I Wing. I've never got a ponation. Really, really a ball game, man. Uh, Z thumbs. He came out here. He played a phenomenal Yo. game. Really, really ad adjusted very well. I Wing. Want to see something? I want to see something. <laughs> I want to see. No, I want to see that helmet. Fourteen point game. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Where where an opponent just asked me to go to a formation. <laughs> I've never seen that before, but that was pretty insane to see. And Zito was like, "Yeah, all right, I'll go to I Wing." <laughs> this is a huge win for Thumbs. You know, I, as a Madden player, you're always confident in yourself, but you know who you're playing against. You, you know you got to play against Blocky or Master Gamer in the finals. Known, but you came out here and you played a phenomenal game, and you definitely are deserving to be here. Well, Z Thumbs beat Blocky online, 21 to 17. That should have gotten Master Gamer's attention. Let's listen in as Z Thumbs is going to be your champ. I didn't know it was going to work, but it did. My man just go out there and play. He go out there and throw the football around. Old-fashioned virtual gridiron. I didn't know it was going to work. You know, my flip flip. Because you weren't doing anything crazy. You weren't doing anything crazy. What the fuck is crazy? ID slide, double team, protect, flip, 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 flip. No, my man called to play, hiked it, and ran that shit up your ass. Okay, He's he like, coming out the same I'm just calling so. Power no, O. And yeah, I'm going to be the one to represent I mean, I haven't ran in a minute, the Dolphins. Maybe. It's going to be Z Thumbs. He's going to be moving like, on. <laughs> my, my man is like, bro, all right, take a hike, dude. <laughs> Alright buddy, alright buddy, take a hike cuz. Miami in the round of 32, he is your champ. Yeah, he played a phenomenal game man, I I, I could really appreciate the adjustments <laughs> he made in game. We never seen him Yo, go to he that wants no uh, wing in formation game. versus his first opponent Josh, and then versus uh, Master, he just figured out it worked, and he just kept going back to it, kept going back to the well. And then, let's talk about the defense, he was able to stop the run, and Master wasn't ever really comfortable passing the ball. Well, it's a lesson to all of us. Don't overlook anybody. And Z Thumbs, his best finish ever was 145 back at the Madden 17 Bowl. And now he's ran the round of 32. And your champ is hanging out with Evan. All right, we have crowned a Dolphins champ. Let's go. It is the Woo. underdog story, definitely of the day, maybe in Madden history, <sighs> Scott Cole said. How you feeling, I'm buddy? I'm, I don't even know. I can't even process this. Uh... It's amazing. I mean, did you expect this? You beat Blocky. You beat Matt. Did you happen to catch the interview with Matt before you oh, guys yeah. played? Oh, yeah. I was standing right <laughs> over there. I was like, we're going to test this run to you. We'll see how good this run to you is. Yeah, what do you Put think about it? Uh, I mean, he didn't have anything to answer about the I form, so. Yeah. He, yeah. he seemed like he had a lot to say afterwards as well, trying to just figure out what was yeah, going on. Yeah, he wanted on. me to keep running the I form, see if he could. If it was just a fluke, but it was not. <laughs> so so yeah. w w what, what shifted here? And I think why. Yo, my man, Luke said, Matt's club series. One chest bump, two dances, three interview, lab request. <laughs> yo, Matt. Yo, did Matt you think, if character. you're looking from yo. Matt's perspective, why did he not understand what you were able to bring to the table having watched the earlier game? What were you doing that worked so well? I didn't run this guy uh, the iPhone all the two. first game. Mm. Uh, the first play, I ran the stretch from Strong H that I had been running, and he blew it up with Clowney, and I was like, I can't run that the rest of the game. So I went to the iForm. Uh, it kept breaking open. He didn't switch his D for a long time. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then, you know, the, the one with the cooks over top, I couldn't run that the first game either because uh, Josh had the full uh, Denzel Ward for right. 94 speed, but mm. Matt only had the 91 speed. So. Mm. Well, it was See? an incredible game. And I mean See, he in practice mode too. You know what I'm saying? It's not always about you. He know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Matt, Matt's a character, bro. He's a good kid, man. But you just got – you got – you can't put the cart before the horse. And this shit's funny. You know? I like laughing at y'all. I like laughing at you. That shit's fun, bro. I like laughing at you guys, man. I like laughing at myself, man. Uh, But, yeah, I just... I, 
like I said, it comes down to competition. Whether I'm watching Alabama play, you know, Alabama A and M, or I'm watching, you know, the Lakers play the damn who's a bum ass team. Let's say the Lakers play the Knicks. I might root for the Knicks. I like an underdog. I do. I, I think everybody does. People are naturally attracted to the underdog because it kind of like, I feel like the the average person is a underdog in life, you know, because we're not the richest people in the world or the people in Hollywood Wall of Fame. So naturally you want to root for the people that got the harder road, you know, that, you know, and the person that says, that, you know, I don't got to worry about this guy, you know, the reality of it, that was the only game that mattered. <laughs> I'm instantly rooting for that guy instantly whether you are or not i mean god bless but for me i instantly jumped on the z thumbs bandwagon let me know what you guys did what did you guys do what would it make you do i don't know how many master gamer fans there are out there god bless you i don't know what type of cereal you like but it's probably the wrong one um bro why do you, it's like, why do people fascinated with the Skimbo? That's what I'm saying. Skimbo swag was actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't mad at it. You know? So, I, I mean, it's just... I'm just busting his balls. That's all. I just I just didn't like... Just, it wasn't bad. For Skimbo, like I said earlier, it was about an a 8.5 on, on the Skimbo scale. I mean, not... Uh, no, we're not going to... Wait, Jesse, what we're not going to do is compare Skimbo to Truzy now. that's We're not going to drag my man like that. Yeah, Luca, that's what I'm saying. Just busting some balls, that's all. I am... Uh, but it's a reality check for all you guys, man. Don't ever underestimate anybody. Don't ever think you're better than anybody. Don't ever think the job is done when it's not done. If you didn't clock out, the job is not done. Speaking of clocking out... We are three hours into this podcast, man. And you guys on YouTube, if you have made it to the three-hour part, I hope you have fun laughing at Master Gamer. He's a character, man, and he is good for Madden because he's a character. And by the way, very good uh, play-by-play, or not or commentary. Matt was very good at that. Um, but I enjoyed laughing at him. I have always felt like he's made the dumbest faces in the world when shit goes bad for him. Like... I've always felt that. And to see it just manifest on the biggest stage, it's pretty funny. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Pretty funny. Bro, first of all, anyway. Yes, it's the faces. I just wanted to make sure you guys realize saw the faces. It's just funny, man. But for real, it's just... uh. Just don't underestimate anybody, that's all. I underestimated how much I'd be talking about freaking ghosts, hitch routes, and freaking... But what, as we close here, I want to ask you guys, what what club are you looking forward to this week? I believe we go AFC South, NFC South this week, right? We go with, do the Falcons play this week? I know Jags, and I know the Jags, and the, or it might be, what, what play is this? Yeah, like, what, what am I looking forward to, Chet? Talk to me. So, a- NFC South and AFC South. Okay, so we're going with the South. The South Divisions. Is, that's what you're telling me. Yes. Uh, if Jay wins. So, we're just going to underestimate my man, The Dream. My man, The Dream, he's been, he's confident. So, wh- that, what are we doing right now? Said he, do we not just go through a whole hour of laughing at Master Gamer for thinking he was better than somebody? We're not just going to assume Jay is going to get past the dream. Long, Hey, long hair, I have no idea what the schedule is. I wish I could tell you guys the schedule. I believe Thursday is the first games. We'll get finals of three clubs, and then we will get the Indianapolis Colts, which Pony Montana is playing, and I believe Little Man is playing. Love Pony, man. I root for all streamers. I root for Little Man. Good kid. Friend of mine. I'll pretty much all... It's... It's only like four people in the world I would root for a little man against, honestly. So I, I'm, a, I'm a little man fan. I'm a little man fan. Friday is the Panthers, Bucks and Falcons in that order. Finals or the whole tournament? Reggie, do you play one game or what? Light Thief? Oh, Dream was pretty good? Okay, so that's going to be tough. Every game? Okay, let's get it. 11-21. What, 
Uh, Jesse, what's 1121? Thursday, right? Jesse is looking at a website somewhere. It's not he's the GOAT. Look, he's copying and pasting. Do you think he's putting those little dashes in, in, in punctuation without copying and pasting? Like, come on, bro. That's on Madden. Like, uh, well, anyway, like I said, I pretty much wake up and I ask Twitter, you know. So if you guys don't follow me, man, twitter.com slash dub.w, you can do that. Let me know what you guys on YouTube think about Master Gamer, man. Was that funny? I thought it was hysterical. You know, uh, what else, What else did you like this week? What games are you looking forward to? Be Easy is the, that's the new title of the podcast. I want you guys to be easy. 